Well then, this has been a long time coming, let me tell you, like, a really long time coming. I've been meaning to play this forever, and now I have the time to do so. It feels like forever since I've actually, like, recorded, like, offline recording on my own. Feels like forever, and I wanted to make, like, a cool, cool comeback, you know. Longest video, longest thing I haven't played yet on the channel. And honestly, I don't think I've talked about it much, but I love Cut Zombies. I love Call of Duty Zombies. I'm a big fan of it. Like, all the way through... Well, see, that's where it gets tricky, and that's where this video is actually really useful. Um, a lot of what I played was Black Ops 1 and 2. BO3 and BO4 I'm getting into lately. Um, and the rest, well, we'll talk about it. Yeah, now, now I can finally play... Oh my god, I forgot about this. I, I forgot knifing in World of War. It's basically a vacuum. Look at this shit, look at this. Check, check this out. Oh. If you plunge the knife, you get like sucked into the zombie, which makes a lot of sense. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? I actually haven't played the version of World of War, like Nacht, Verog, Shinonuma, and the Reese in a while. Most of my experience with it is through BO1, like a friend had BO1 and he had all the maps and shit, so we played the Reese, um... Uh, I remember playing the Reese and Nacht, a lot of it there. But World of War itself I don't have that much experience with. BO2, BO2 is the zombies game I have the most experience with. Um, we'll, we'll get into... We'll, we'll get into, you'll see... Down below you'll see each map specifically, so... Have fun with that. I love the sound effects in World of War, though. They're so good. Like, I feel like as we progress through these games, you'll notice, like, a certain change in the atmosphere, basically. Like, right now, I feel like... I, I don't feel, like, super tense, because I know somewhat how to play. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel tense. I feel like, oh, shit, I should keep an eye on, on everything. As we go on, you'll see that sort of feeling... Uh, um, change, you know? No, not in a bad way, necessarily, just just change. Just, it will be different. But yeah, it's so good to be finally playing this, dude. And we finally... We're not going for any, like, high rounds or optimal things or whatever here, we're just, we're just playing, you know? No, no easter eggs, super duper, whatever, no, I just want to play through most of the zombies maps that we got to this point. Oh my god, I didn't ha even have the voice or the UI, I forgot. Yeah, so Nacht was stupidly bare bones. Yeah, it's really funny how bare bones this actually is. I love it. I, I love this feeling. It's just going back to the roots, you know, it, it humbles you in a way. It makes you very humble. No perks, no pack a punch, no nothing. We'll get to those. Well, actually, the next map we'll get to perks already, but. This right here, this is very humbling, I will say. Honestly, the, the, this bit, like, me playing World of War, I'm not very familiar, like, outside of them bringing them back in some maps, in their core or original state, I'm not very familiar with the weapons. Well, this is slightly redundant. I would like a point machine. Yeah, sorry, the... the I, I like the double barrel. Like I, I'm always a big fan of double barrel shotguns in games. They they usually suck, but I'm a big fan of them. Like in BO2, BO1 and BO2. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm Olympia gang. I like Olympia. It sucks as a weapon. Don't get me wrong. It's so satisfying to use. Here I would say the tr the trench gun feels like it has a bigger punch. Did you guys know that if you shoot this, you knife here, and then here, and then you kill a zombie doing a 360, you'll get the ray gun every time. Check this shit out. Let, let me get a 360 kill and I'll show you. That was not a 360 kill, I'm sorry. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm missing as well, but... I don't know, man. The car is not exactly good. At least here, I don't know m multiplayer. Like, I, honestly, I never played World of War multiplayer, so I wouldn't know. 
But over here at least. Oh, there, there's no boys either. That's odd. Shotguns and snipers are usually not very good. Like it's usually like the rule of, rule of thumb that they kind of suck. They, they have a good punch, but they run out of bullets really quickly. And they eventually get replaced by either wonder weapons or light machine guns. Usually light machine guns. That's usually like the go-to. You'll see, you'll see. Like even in this game, right? The Browning, the MG08... Is it MG08? No, MG42, sorry, yeah. Um, even those outclass these weapons immensely. <laughs> in ammo and damage itself, we'll see, you'll see. Oh, hell yes! Oh, hell yes! <laughs> my precious boy! My beloved Thompson, my precious, precious boy! How oh, I missed you so! Oh, it sounds so good! It sounds so good! Oh, that's so cool. Now, part of me wants to open this, but part of me kind of doesn't. Like, I feel like I'm... Oh. Nice slide, dude. What the fuck did you... Nice slide. And he also wasn't dying either. I, I think this is the only map where they make these noises. Or is it also in Barak and Shino? Because I know the Reese is usually, like, far more different. Oh! We're good, we're good. They're making, like, animal noise. Yeah, they're hissing at me. What the hell? Bitch! You dare hiss at me? Oh, this might be a problem. Oh, this light machine gun does not have the light machine gun bullets I expected. Am I right in calling the FG-42 a light machine gun? I think it is, right? You will be kind to me, won't you? You will be indeed very kind. Well... Oh, wait, hold on. Allow me... Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, this is not good at all. Oh, this is not very good at all. Yeah, it doesn't hit the same way without the max ammo. Is this really... It's a problem on my end, right? I'm pretty sure Nacht had the voice lines already. Oh. Ooh. 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 Yes, deployable, where... Oh, well, this one actually is kind of deployable. Hold on. Stop hissing! They're so rude! I, I like that the, I, I like it as a very unique thing from this map, but like... That's so rude, hissing at someone. Oh, here we go. Oh, hell yes. Oh, fuck yes. See, now we're playing zombies. Now this is the true zombies experience we all know and love. Ooh, yeah, hello. Oh, hell yes, dude. I, I love this. I love how it feels. Like, I know World of the War is rather janky. But the sound effects are so cool. Oh, oh, hello. Don't, don't swing. Don't be rude. Thank you. Uh, some of you are still alive. And some of you are alive. What the? Sir. Sir. Why did you do why did you slide? How did you do that? How did you dodge shots? Oh boy. Well Yeah, I didn't expect the Nacht. Oh really? Lullaby of a dead man, huh? 
I definitely am using... Yes, I'm definitely using Intel right now. Yes, yes, Treyarch. Oh, we're on quick revive side. Shit. Oh, I have no grenades. Oh, there you go. Also, now we get the voice lines. Okay. Like, I know the characters don't have voice lines in Nacht because you're no one, basically. But if we got voice lines here, maybe we get them for Samantha. Maybe. So I'm thinking... Yeah, okay. Power will re re reunite you. Yes, with all the people I'm playing this game currently. Yes. Yeah, this place is fucked up, dude. Ah, yes. Double tap. Of course. Okay. Let's see about getting the power back on. Uh, part of me wants to buy the Thompson for points. Should I? Because I, I probably won't get very far with just the cold, right? This is a thousand. Yeah, I might need the Thompson. Good old Thompson. My goat. My chat goat. Now, I know there's someone out there. If you have... Oh, look at that. <laughs> that, that actually looks very funny. I know someone out there must be like, oh, Fran, you're not matching your points and bullets correctly. Dude, I don't care. I appreciate it. I, I value point management as a, as a decision-making thing. But right now, I'm just chilling, dude. It's just a lovely Thursday after work. I'm just chilling with some zombinos. I'm good. I won't do the most optimal choices every time. As you can see, I will not do the most optimal choice every time. There we go. That's more like it. And you. Thank you. Okay, so... Forgive me, I don't remember the rock's layout all that well. I'm probably opening some worthless shit that it needs no opening at all. Oh, there it is. I'm almost there. Just a teensy, teensy bit more. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit here. And then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna get Jug. And you might be thinking, Fran, go get Quick Revive. Well... <laughs> quick Revive isn't exactly useful in World of War. I, I will be the first one to tell you that. No one ever noticed that before, not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of double, double barrels here, huh? I kind of want to use it, though. I don't want to replace it right now. And you might be thinking, just change, th just swap the Thompson. No. We love the Thompson in this house. Oh, hey. This is what I got for slightly cheaper price. Let's go. Oh, it's even better. I got the grip. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. This is something we'll see often, though. Don't worry about it. I want to use the gun before I inevitably swap it off, okay? So give me a sec. I'm just having fun here. Don't mind me. I'm just blowing heads off. Tempting. Very tempting. Ooh. Just straight clean, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well... It was tempting. Oh my god, my points skyrocketed. It was tempting, and I should have grabbed it. So... If you know anything about zombies, like speedrunning and whatever, this map, like this version of Shinonuma, is in fact the map where you can get to like stupid high rounds, like 10,000 or 11,000, whatever. It's honestly pretty cool. But for a casual, stupid person like me, it's actually one of the harder maps in the game. <laughs> oh, I like this pose. Look at that. Yeah, so that's actually a cool thing. Like, the previous two maps were like in Germany or whatever. In this one, since we're in Japan, they not only look different, but their posing could be different as well. That's honestly a very cool attention to detail. Small things, I know, but... They, they help for, like, immersion, you know? 
They, they help with immersion, I like that. Big supporter of that, in fact. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, so each corner will have a perk. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get lucky, will I? So yeah, now we're getting like a little bit more personality with it. Oh fuck. I'm alive. Barely. That's good. That works. Now you're gonna be nice and give me give me a point weapon, please and thank you. It works. I, I think it works. There we go. I'm gonna get two weapons, <laughs> and then we can move. The one oh, shot, it... one kill, good odds. Really? Is it one shot? The Magnum? Oh fuck! Already, huh? Oh boy. Oh, it is one shot. Good. Yeah, I'm actually kind of scared this time. Ah! Oh boy. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, these dogs. These, these ones do hurt. Oh. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're good. We're, we're playing. We're still playing Shino. Oh my god, dude, that was close though. Yeah, those dogs do hurt in this game. Whew. Be nice, please be nice. Uh, they're having worse. Please give it to me. Come on. I see it. You're a piece of shit. I like the browning though. I'm 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 happy with it, but come on man. You know you want to. Where's the phones? I don't remember where they are. As far as I know, those songs are not copyrighted, so I can just play them. Sorry, my aiming kinda sucked there. <laughs> I slipped. I thought the phones were around here. I will say the Magnum feels very satisfying compared to like the Python and the Executioner. I think this one feels better. Is it better? Probably as well. I'm so close, dude. Oh no, wait, I have to buy the door. Never mind, I'm not close at all. Oh, fuck. I think I can handle it with the browning, right? Those don't sound like freak bags. I think it's fine, yeah. I think I can handle them. Supposedly. Well, I might be dead, dead. Well, I'm dead dead. Yeah, they're not easy. They're not easy whatsoever. I think we need to turn the power on. Okay, so welcome to the Reese. Probably the most iconic zombies map, right? Like To me, it's either this or Kino. Probably Kino, because that was a launch map, this is like DLC 4, some people already left and whatever. But this is the map that basically cements the future of zombies. You got that bad boy over there, with all the perks and all the shenanigans. And also I think zombies already behave different in this map, I think the AI in the zombies is different. Right? I, I'm not mistaken about that, right? Because like I think... 
for Paga Punch they refine the AI of the zombies or whatever the fuck. I am probably lying, but I, I... As far as I know, like, there is the one map that has different zombies. That's why you can't get to rounds, like, stupidly high rounds because of it. Like, you can get to high rounds, but not stupid like Shinonuma or the other maps. Let's get some points going, boy! Dude, give me, give me, give me. We're, we're gonna have to open a lot of doors. And this is where the shit starts to get slightly bigger. I'll say the Reese is probably the, like, bigger than Shino, right? Maybe the layout's different, and maybe the size is the same, I don't know. It's probably the same thing. No, it's probably bigger. Like, there is probably... Well, hmm... I don't know. No, I feel like... I feel like they're the same, but their layout is different. I don't know. Good. We needed this one. Where are they? Give them to me, I must kill. Oh boy. I'm running out. Okay, hold on. I need a little bit more. Ow. Ow! No! Mm. Man. Part of me really wants to go again. But part of me also knows we're gonna get to this map again anyway. Oh, Kino der Toten. I like to think... I would like to think I'm gonna do better here than in the Reese. That the Reese mistake was just stupid. I promise I'm better at these games than I look like. <laughs> and Black Ops 1 here is going to help me prove it. At least Kino, especially Kino. Please, Kino, help me out. The first thing's first. Oh yeah, no points here yet. This fucking thing works, actually. That's good. Like, most of my Black Ops 1 experience has been on the PS3. Uh, I do actually own the game, I have it on disc and everything. Um, on the PS3, maybe it's because I never played with headphones before. Um, at least this version. You can actually hear the zombies theme, like the main zombies theme from time to time. I, I know that's a thing in like every version, but you can actually hear it in this one. Gonna be pretty sick. Now I don't think you can find the box yet, if I'm not mistaken. But I might need, I might, might, might need um, the M14. Oh. Never mind, never mind, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm good, I'm good. You you, th you threw good hands, my guy. GG's. So, is the box here? It is. Slightly tempted to just buy the MP40. Let's see. Let's tempt fate. Oh, hello! <laughs> Let's tempt fate, he said. Well... We got the big boy gun. Um, that's cool and all, but I actually need a point gun. I actually need a point gun. So part of me wants to buy the MP40. But well, that's like the try hard thing to do. I don't know. Oh boy, hello. Oh yeah, I forgot. Richtofen is very uh, suggestive. Oh my boy! I promise I'm not hacking. I swear to God, I'm not hacking. There is no hacking shenanigans after the Reese, I promise. This all sounds like massive copious amounts of copium, I know, but I promise you. I'm not modding, I'm not hacking, I'm not doing anything. I'm salty about the Reese, because I wanted to trigger Beauty of Annihilation and all that. I am salty. But we will get the giant anyway, so it's like whatever. 
I won't trigger the Beautiful Annihilation version there, because I think that version is actually copyrighted, if I'm not mistaken, because it's some, like, Skrillex remix or whatever. Am I, am I wrong about that? I think I am. Just a little bit of point boarding, not much going on right now. So that's the thing. I feel like... I, I Like, World of War and Black Ops 1, they all have, like, a two-year uh, window. And in the middle, it's uh, Modern Warfare 2. I can't blame people that are like, oh, this is the golden era of, of Call of Duty, because it's really good. <laughs> but the thing is, the reason Black Ops 1... To me, they feel like years apart, even if they're like only two years apart. They feel like ages apart, dude. Like, yeah, Kino, Kino and the Reese, they don't feel that different. But looking at anything else in Black Ops One and World at War, it's like, yeah, it feels completely different. It feels like a long time has passed for such an evolution of the mode. When in reality, it's not quite. It has been relatively a short amount of time. Yeah, see, this is... I would say this map is easier than there is. Like, I, I think this map's, like, there is, but for launch... Like, like if there is was a launch map, I think it would be easier. This is what it feels like. It feels like there is launch edition. So, easier for people to get into it and grasp it. And then they can jump into the harder map, which is actually after this one. So... That's how it feels like, to be honest. Feels like, what if we make the res slightly simpler, add on to that all the refined engine and AI and whatever, and honestly, this is easier than the res. And no, I'm not coping, like, I'm in that generally. What will sound like coping is, I played the res like two months ago on World of War and I got to round 25. That round 4 is not indicative of my actual skill level. <laughs> For anyone watching. Yeah, this time, I'm ready for all of you. This time, I'm taking you out easily. Get over here. These motherfuckers are nowhere near as dangerous this time. Like, they're still the second hardest dogs we got. But they're way easier, dude. I don't even know if I'm doing the glitch correctly. There's a glitch that if you stand here, they won't attack you. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but whatever. They're so much easier in this game, dude. And they only get easier from here as well. They, they, they all get so much easier from here. Yeah, so I would say Black Ops 1 is like a more accessible World at War. And it even improves on World at War, so it's just... a better package all around, dude. Like, World at War's not bad, I, I promise I'm not salty. I, I actually do really like World at War. And honestly, I like the World at War maps in World at War. Like, those are my favorite versions. They, they just feel more um, authentic, you know? And the weapons they also have, that I, I like them more. Like, whenever I play Nacht on BO3, it feels like I'm just burning time. It doesn't feel like... It, it, it wasn't nowhere near as fun as it was when I just played it. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Are you dead? You're dead, okay, sick. You're not. Yeah, they, they blended into the floor out there a little bit. I was very confused. I heard them, but I didn't realize I killed them, actually. I, yeah, so, whoa. Well, that's not good. I promise I'm better at this mode than I look like. Let me out, thank you. Please and thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade now. We fuck everything else. I'm gonna upgrade the Thunder Gun, screw it. We'll wait, we'll wait. Ammo to the max, yeah? You know what? I'm gonna commit a sin. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. 
I'll commit one of the worst sins you can commit in this game. In this map, even. I'm gonna open the forbidden door. This is a... Kill him now. Often a forbidden door because there's no point in getting in this room. Outside of this thing I'm gonna do. There's literally no point in getting in this room, so this door is usually not open. But I'll do it. I don't care. I'll fight fate. I'm cool as fuck, boy! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm waiting for a zombie to just spawn on my back. I got this! Get out of here! <laughs> I miss this so much, dude. I've, I haven't played BO1 Kino in so long, I've been missing it. And everyone lies. They're waiting for the second coming again. Everyone tries to hold on to their lives when no one's alive. Bring me one, one, five! Mouse? Hello? Yes! Welcome the mechanic from the Reese into Kino! I definitely showcased this in the Reese. Now our weapons are better. I wish I could have done this in the Reese, but whatever. We take this. We'll take it. We'll play the Reese in the Giant. That's the Reese easy mode. We're fine. I'm not coping! I definitely will be coping for the rest of this video. And probably... Yeah, probably this video. Probably the ranking as well. I, I wanna do a tier list of this. Okay, give me that. Give me that shit. Does the boy knife still kill them in round 13? No. <laughs> it does not. That's good to know. Fine, let's get quick revive. Let's go for a high round. Yeah, they, I feel like these following portions of the video are going to get longer and longer. Um, that's probably what's gonna end up happening. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Is that the shockwave? Like... Is that the actual shockwave? That actually looks pretty cool. Oh! Don't... Oh, don't mind me. I'm making really stupid decisions as of late. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm good. I think. Yeah, I'm good. Let me... A little bit of this. Yeah, on PS3, the Thunder Gun Shockwave did not look like this at all. Like, this one's far more, uh, far more detailed. I, I know it's the PS3, right? I know it's not like a fair comparison. I get that. But it is my frame of reference. <laughs> I have to say, playing like, I feel like playing this and probably whenever I, we get to Black Ops 2 in this video, I feel like that's when I'm going to, like, right now I'm feeling a lot of difference between, uh, like, how I used to play on PS3 and now. And I, I, I know it sounds like an excuse of bringing it this late in the video, but like, I'm so used to zombies and controller, that when I play these games now, my, my muscle memory goes, Oh hey, where's the controller? <laughs> so, I, I would say it feels far more comfortable like this. But it doesn't mean that I'm super used to it, right? Oh, this might be a problem. Oh. I overestimated the power of the Galil. I honestly think this cutscene is so sick. I love this cutscene. <laughs> it's like unrealistic in the sense of why are the, all of them fighting zombies? But in the context of Black Ops 1, it's connected to the story. Because, you know, JFK, Castro, McNamara, and well, not Nixon. I feel like Nixon was like, oh, well, we need a fourth character. And just keep it. Oh, there you go. It takes a while, yeah. Huh. Yeah, the zombie song is also here. I was wrong. 
May you solve through be a one? Maybe, yeah. Could, could be all, all the way through be a one. I think this is one of the cooler things out of five. I, I, I really like when zombies maps have really small details that are ultimately not really that important, but I, th I think they add to the uniqueness. I know I, I was honestly shocked when, you know, going through forums and whatever. Five is not a very loved map. Like, at least it wasn't back then because it's too difficult. I agree it's more difficult than Kino, even if my Kino performance doesn't showcase it. Um, so I can understand why people don't like it. It's very close quarters. The guns in BO1 are actually very weak, so sometimes it feels like you have no chance. I get all of that, but I honestly think the map layout of 5 is actually very good. Like you, you get the three levels and you understand all of them. They're not very difficult to understand. Um, the teleporters are cool, and it's honestly a very unique map. The teleporters, I, I, I in this map, like 5, not classified, in 5, they are random. I, I will say that kind of sucks, but... I, th I think that's the chaos of zombies as a whole. Um, I honestly always forget to go up here. <laughs> not, not quite. One day I'll understand what any of this means. <laughs> like I don't think it's tied to any zombies at all. I think it's just random shenanigans marked through uh, the Cold War. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. We don't really learn the Cold War over here, since Argentina was fuck all involved with it. So, it's not like it affects my- oh! Probability of you touching me again is zero. See ya. So when I get down here, I'm gonna get the Nova Crawlers again, so that's not very cool. Um, where's the power? And there we go. Okay, that, that works, yeah. Okay, yeah, this works. I actually want quick revive, that's good. And the box is on the labs, fuck. Mm. It's just so tight down there, I don't want- I don't like it when it's in the lab itself. It's, it's way too tight down there. We're good. Oh, sort of. We're kind of good. The use of nuclear deterrence is approved. Is the Pentagon thief anytime soon? Okay, not yet. Good. So, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, random teleporters, baby. Let's go. We love them. This is one of the best things Classified did. Actually, telling you where you're going. That's honestly one of the best changes you could do to Five. Um, I'm gonna need this real quick. Oh yeah, the death machine. I forgot. I forgot the only maps not in is actually Kino, like for the Bo1 maps, because it's even on DevOps, which uh, I'll think about later if I include it in this video or not. I'm not really. I like DevOps, but I don't know. Kind of like. I think I'm. Speaking to a more traditional aspect in this one. But yeah, fun fact for you BO3 people, you actually cannot swap out of the death machine. You actually have to run it out and it does not scale, it does not do infinite damage like I think. Uh, I don't know if the BO3 death machine is infinite damage but it's useful somewhat in like later rounds. This one tr straight up becomes like a problem, like straight up you do not want this in later rounds. Here it comes. Where is he? Oh, that's a problem. Guess I shouldn't have made those budget cuts. Yeah, if he's taking anything, I'd rather let him take the Oh! The MPL. Where is he though? Where is he? Oh! 
Oh, I'm still a stock, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I was never good at killing this guy. Can't lie. I was never very good at killing him. Usually just steals my weapon. Which I think that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, he's not gone gone yet. Yeah, I'm too slow. Yeah, I think he got away, okay. Well, MPL, you were good while you lasted, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the thing, I I'm not very good at killing him. If you do kill him, it's quite rewarding, but I'm not good at it. Oh, hello! Now, don't get me wrong, I know this weapon's... ...awful. Like, absolutely awful. But again, we're not going for super duper efficiency here, we're going for... Um, you know, funnies. So... I'm honestly surprised there are no perks uh, on the lab. Like, yeah, power's there, the box is there, but I think that's something Classified did that uh, I honestly don't, like, I think that was clever because like, you have double tap here, Mule Kick and Jug, then you have Speed Cola and Quick Revive on the first floor, but on the lab there's nothing outside of the box sometimes. And, well, power, but, like, perks-wise, if the box isn't down there, I have no reason to go there for, like, progression, right? Maybe they were trying to put one a cut perk down there or something. Maybe they, they were fucking around. Maybe double tap could have been there, I don't know. Or maybe jug. Because here is one of the more tight spots. Yeah, weapons ain't that good. Holy shit. Do I go to the teleporter? I think I do. Yes. I didn't remember exactly how to do it. That's actually so sick. I love how that looks. Yeah, so once the countdown... Oh no, they, they can still spawn through the wind. Oh, hello. It would. Oh, hello. Mysterious Kino person. What do they mean by this? Oh, well. This is nice. Oh, nice! Let's go! Outplayed, that's what I say. He, he just got immensely outplayed, by the way. I didn't realize it actually was 30%. I just thought it increased rate of fire. I didn't know by how much. Um, Yeah, that's the thing with double tapping World at War and BO1. You you all might be familiar with the fact that double tap increases your damage. Uh, no. Like, technically, I guess it does because it is increasing your, your rate fire. But it's not one bullet does double damage like in BO2 and 3. It's just... You fire quicker. By firing quicker, you do deal more damage, but you also run out of ammo faster. For an LMG, I guess it's fine. I don't know if it affects one. I think it affects one of the weapons. Like, I don't know. I think I'm firing this faster now. I think. This will help our case indeed. I think this is the most setup we've been in this entire video, and it's in five of all fucking places. The fact that this is on 5 is honestly bizarre to me. Now I actually need to be careful about the, the thief. Do I want him to take the Winter's Howl or do I want him to take the pack punched weapon? I probably want him to take the Winter's Howl, look at this shit. Thunder Gun, you ain't. Especially, you got Kino with the Thunder Gun and you got this with the Winter's Howl. It's like, yeah. I, you can tell which one's the superior wonder weapon. You can definitely tell indeed. Like, this motherfucker ain't dead. It's round 11, and I'm holding the wonder weapon. The thunder gun will have absolutely killed. Just saying. <laughs> I know the thunder gun's actually one of the better ones in all of zombies, but come on, dude. 
Now let's see if I can actually... I don't know, can you freeze the Pentagon Thief? Is he getting frozen? I don't think he is, no. He has the effect, but he's not frozen frozen. Yeah, honestly, it felt so weird on Nak not having uh, Samantha voice lines. I honestly thought that they were like patched in after uh, after the Reese. I guess not. Like even the icon, like uh, the icons I knew, um, they were not in Nak. But I'm surprised they didn't do it in Nak. Like they didn't patch them in. I guess to keep the the oh look how far we come since map one to map four. Because they are the AI of the zombies, as far as I know, it was changed in the Reese as well. Um, but it doesn't translate all the way back to, uh, to Nah or Barak or Shino. I don't know if it's the AI, I think it's like the spawning or whatever. Because as far as I know, there's a limit on Nah all the way through Shino. I don't know if the Reese. That you can only spawn like 24 zombies, regardless of round. They have more life, obviously, but... You can only spawn them. That's why you can get to like stupid rounds in Shino. You can get them all through the blender flogger thingy. And they all die because the traps are still one hit. I don't know why I'm doing the death one thing. I already pack a punch. I guess for, for funsies if I want to stay there. I don't think you get kicked from it. I don't think you get kicked from the uh, from the office. Oh, hello. The demanding on the wonder weapon. You know, the, the one of a kind weapon. And you know, I get that, but like, I'm on round 19, and this thing doesn't exactly, if, if the Winter's Hell had more ammo, I wouldn't mind that it's a two shot weapon, at least here, now. It definitely doesn't remain a two, sheet, uh, two shot weapon. <laughs> two shits. It is, it is very much worth two shits, yes. Um, if it had more ammo, I wouldn't mind, but it runs out of ammo so quickly that honestly, the Raygun's better than this. And the Raygun, the Raygun's good, don't get me wrong, but... If this is unique to this map, I feel like this should be better than the weapon I can get in any other map. I don't know, that's just like my game design idea of what if I made weapons, like specific weapons for each map. I would like the specific weapons to be good, right? Because like, it gives you the the incentive to get it in this specific map. It's one of the reasons you're playing the map. Oh, I want to use the Winter's Howl. Well, you have to play five. You can't play Shangri-La and get the Winter's Howl unless you're modding. I think. Like, are there weapon mods? Like, any weapon a in any map mods? If there are, well, I'd love to try that. I would love to play, like, Kino with, like, multiplayer weapons. Like, I don't know, the AK or, uh, the, or, uh, the Stoner or whatever other multiplayer weapons I'm not remembering right now. I was about to say the Commando, but no, the Commando is in Zombies, yes. So I'm not wrong on that. Yeah, I think most of the multiplayer weapons are on Zombies, actually. As supposed to BO2. On BO2, I don't know why, but very few multiplayer w weapons are in Zombies. I love BO2 Zombies, but like, let me use the MP7 in Mob, you know? I get why they u the Uzi is there. It's like, for example, to compare SMGs, right? I get the, the Uzi, it's a mobster map, I get that, that looks cool. Let me use the MP7, dude. Oh, this might actually be a problem this time. I don't have Winter's Hall ammo. Oh, barely, barely got the switch. Oh, this is a problem. He actually might take the Winter's Hall this time. Because now that he's moving, I don't know where he is. Oh. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt! 
Thank you. Oh, and you get your ammo back. Interesting. Do I get all my ammo back? No, I got... Yeah, I got some ammo. That's interesting. I guess my op my might as well open up. Nope. <laughs> nope. I guess we were trying for monkeys. I don't know what else I could be trying for. Like, I guess the crossbow, but I'm not really looking for high rounding. Oh, well, there goes the high rounding. Oh, no! Oh, teleporter, you piece of shit! Oh my god, the random teleporting. I could have gotten away with that. If I wasn't, if I hadn't been teleported to the lab, I could have easily gotten away with it. Fuck. Yeah, they're gonna start teleporting from behind. Oh my god, let me out! <laughs> let me out of the lab! Oh my god. Yeah, classified, you did amazing with the change, by the way. Oh my god. Well, down we go. What's going on here, dude? But I don't wanna miss out on Ascension. Maybe if I turn the power on, maybe that's that will fix it. Let's let's see. We'll we'll wait. We'll play this out. If it doesn't fix it, I guess we'll give it a shot in BO3 or keep playing. If and this is honestly uh really weird. I can't even lie. Yeah, this uh yeah you can tell this is all very untextured. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought that, I thought the weapon chalk was missing. It was this wall. My bad. Um, let's go check. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. This sure. Hmm, ammo is running low. Yeah. Oh, hello, flopper, my beloved. Lines two. Probably that's why Richthofen isn't talking. Like I lost Samantha. I lost Richthofen. Oh, hello! The garage device! Oh my god, yeah, this looks... I will say, this map looks scarier without the textures loading properly. <laughs> I, I will give you that. Okay, now I have to know. How does this look like? Yeah, so this is fine. Fuck, it even fixes most of the map. Oh, I hear more. I'll... I don't know if I want to get Jug before the first monkey. I feel like if I can kill the monkeys, maybe I can get the perk, the free perk. So I don't know if I want to get Jug right now. Because that will mean split all my efforts. Yeah. If I get Jug, I get Jug, right? Like, I could lose Flopper. And, you know, Flopper is kind of important in our household, so... Oh, decision making, decision making. Very cool decision making, I might say. Let's get pack open for the sake of getting pack open, and then I'll deal with my with my tr life decisions. In case it's coming, I, I'll make a crawler. I need to take advantage of the fact I can keep crawlers now. That shit's not gonna last for long, for some reason. Can I get a good weapon, please? Paris isn't exactly it, or expect or whichever. I'll take it. Because I want to pocket punch it. I have Flopper, I want to pocket punch it. That makes sense. I haven't seen a teddy bear yet this video, huh? I guess I haven't rolled the box that much. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're coming. Oh. I mean, I ultimately don't care. Flopper, baby. 
problem is I need to reload this shit. So I slightly do care. <laughs> yeah, so basically I want this upgraded because it acts like a monkey bomb. So that means I can have Gersh and monkeys at the same time. Speaking of Gersh, uh, go. Oh, 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 they hit you while they're being sucked in. I didn't know that. I didn't know they could still do that, huh? Uh, wait, is the box ready? Is that the box beam or is it that just a random light? Because usually the TV also shows you where it is, but the TV, I guess, is not textured, so I can see where the box is through the TV. I'm gonna need a point weapon. Please die. Okay, let's keep that guy alive and go check on this box location. Um, where is that? I think that's next to Skirkola, I think. So let's make fuck all points. Who needs points anyway? I don't think I want to stay in this cursed version of Ascension for too long. Like, look, look at this shit! <laughs> it's so weird. I never do this. I might drink Mule Kick for the sake of having a point weapon. I never get mule kick because I think it's absolutely dog water. The awful Lauren. I don't know, man. The M the M seventy two lot is very bad. I think that should be the awful Lauren. Okay, now let me showcase why I actually wanted the crossbow. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Oh, they sure are coming. So if I do something like this, there they go. A uh, pseudo and very good monkey bomb, might I say? If this is this actually is used for uh for high rounds, the crossbow. Again, a call for points, but this is also a call for points. Uh, let's see, what happens if I do that? Could be worse, could be better, could certainly be better, but it could be worse. And I don't mind using the crossbow. It's not very powerful, but for a monkey bomb, I think it does perfectly fine. Do I even want the death machine? What if monkeys come up? Like, I guess I could defend Flopper, but... Uh, okay, so it's a really hard round, we'll wait. wait. Grab it at the last second. I think it should still be effective. Let's see. Nice roll, dipshit. Yeah, this should still do. This is my only way of getting points right now. Even then, I don't even know if this is actually good for points. Oh, that's good. I'll take it. Max ammo! <laughs> I'll, I'll do the noises myself, I guess. Foolish man forgets he's actually editing this video, so he doesn't add them. Oh yeah, insta-kill. <laughs> Shit. That was kind of a waste of a shot. Uh... Fuck you specifically. I like shooting it at the zombies because it's like, yeah, fuck you in a specific. I like being mean to specific zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna save some shots because I'm actually gonna need them. If I meant to spin the box, I'm gonna need them. Um, Milk is just straight up here, right? So I can do this, this, and this. Not exactly worth the points, but... That's good. Mm, 
Not exactly good for points either. I just realized I gotta get out of here. This room isn't very safe. I guess we'll use the G11. Are they going for Jug? Probably are. Probably Cody to go for Jug, yeah. Well, they were going for Stamina before. Oh, I'm losing two of them. Oh, Thundergun? Hello? Oh, they're a fucking flopper up, holy. F yeah, see ya, flopper. I'll rebuy you, I promise. Again. I like I like the beeping noises. It makes a sick remix. If I had any music talent, I would do it. Yeah. Jug went down before Flopper. What the fuck? Oh, they're going for. Uh... Give me that shit. They're definitely going back for meal kick. Um. They should be coming this way anyway, right? Do they have any... Yeah, there they are. Just a shit. I'm sorry, my beloved. I tried. Well, see, that's the priority thing. That I feel like this is a good way of keeping you on your toes, trying to get points. But that that's the other thing. I don't want to get all my perks because one of them is going to get stolen anyway. Like, I'm not even fully set up. I only have a upgraded crossbow and I did it for, like... Trying to prove some dog shit point I randomly made up. Give me that shit. Vium, vium, vium. Oh. Get out of my sight. God, I love the RPK, dude. So fucking satisfying to use. Oh! I mean, do I even want anything? Might as well try, but I don't think I want anything else. Certainly not that, that's for sure. Okay. Let's go get this bad boy. Yeah, certainly last but not least it will be the Thunder Gun. Bad idea, I should have used the crossbow! I definitely should have used the crossbow, god damn it. I made up an entire dog shit point, I didn't even use it. See, I'm not used to using the, the crossbow, that's the thing. Well, now let's... Moment of truth, if Call of the Dead's broken, I guess I'll reset the game. Okay, so... I know... I know this is... Technically cheating, but I couldn't get it to work. I tried uh, Plutonium, I tried the original Steam release, I searched on Google what the fuck this image even is. I found nothing. I don't know what happens with Call of the Dead specifically on my release, because I know people have been playing Call of the Dead on Steam perfectly fine. Good news is someone modded Call of the Dead very faithfully into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and you won't be happy when I tell you that I booted up Shangri-La and Moon on BO1 and the same shit happened so it's probably some DLC there has to be some DLC shenanigan going on 
So... I guess we will be using Sonic Zombie Chronicles in this. And... Power's on. I... Should I go for the box or for Jug? I think I'll go for Jug. I think Jug's the better choice, yeah. George... George, you stay there, okay? You're, you're good the way... You're you're perfectly fine just there, George. Idiot. <laughs> I will say having better movement than the meal one, better as seen like more complex. Not necessarily. I don't think sliding and running around is necessarily better. I actually think it kind of it makes it feel less tense. Um, but I'm sorry, it's muscle memory at this point. I will say, it does feel good to do all this shit of slide jumping and whatever, but for zombies I feel like it doesn't feel like a survival mode when you have all of this. In Call of the Dead it does, because I feel like I'm surviving, but um, we'll get to it. When we properly get into the maps of this game, we'll get to it, don't worry. No, I'm not a BO3 hater, I actually do really like BO3. Zombies anyway, campaign and multiplayer can suck a nut. Oh, hello, Mule Kick. Fuck you, Mule Kick. Okay, so now we gotta get all the way to the lighthouse and get to the box. Uh, gonna take a while. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it won't take that long. Uh oh. Run. Run, 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 run. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Go, 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 go. Uh, lighthouse. Good. If I'm remembering this map correctly, I am at quick revive. Good. That's flopper. I think it's time to buy MPL ammo again. One last time. Did it? Oh, they coming. Fuck. Man, this will freeze your web right off. Shit, I ain't used to this gold. Oh boy, hello. Oh boy. Oh well. All that journey to jog for no reason. That's lovely. Yeah, this is a problem. Very large problem, might I say. I got no bullets. I can't do shit. Well. Oh! Okay. I don't think this is a good area for training. Oh, not even the knife kills them. Holy shit. I got you like a bitch. Well, this is a bit problematic. Take your soul and ass away from me. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, once George gets up here, I'm. F oh, I'm fucked already. Hi, George. Well, that was Call of the Dead. <laughs> They're very, very, as you can see, very, very beautiful. This is 2015, by the way, so this is very impressive. Um, but yeah, welcome to Shangri-La. Say hi. One thing we do lose is the very cool 1911 we just had. M1911, sorry, we do have the 1911. I guess they were trying to do the cult in like a modern BO3 way. It just sounds like shit. <laughs> I'll try get the baby gun. I really like the baby gun. I think it's so cool. Honestly, I think this is like 
Well, thinking to be a one, it's like, okay, you, you launch with Kino and five. You, you launch Kino and five. Kino is very easy, five is more challenging, and you also have to go through the campaign. Kind of like how Zombies is unlocked in World of War. Then you have Ascension, which is very easy. And then you have Call of the Dead and Shangri-La. I, th I think, if I'm not mistaken, Call of the Dead is first. Um, Call of the Dead, I won't say it's easy, but it feels like it's also one of the more in innovating maps. Because, you know, how how, jo how George works, how, um, how the zip lines work. Hell, there are no, like, special rounds. Like, all the time there's a special round, I guess, with George. Very, very unique map. And then Shang brings it more, like, to basics, I guess, but in a very challenging way, because this map is close quarters as fuck. It's not very big. I feel like Call of the, Call of the Dead is way bigger than this. I think it's a, a pure survival map. Like, good luck, we're throwing every single shit we got at you. Let's see. Was Jug here? No, Speed Call is here, so Jug's on the other side. Fuck. Well, that makes things slightly more inconvenient, but not, but not by much. Not by much at all. Hey, what? Oh, did you just say Eduardo? Where is he? Where's the fire zombie? Where's Napalm? Well, down goes Napalm. Well, that's. The new kill them, actually. I, I actually don't know. Give me that. Please. Fuck. <laughs> I don't... Oh, hello. Oh, hell... Oh, from the roof? You're insane, dude. He hit me from the roof. That's crazy. So where could the box be now? Oh, it looks like it's on spawn. Good, I actually need that. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, it sure was a problem. Um, let's go again. Oh, it's close to spawn, not spawn itself. Good. And... Jug... Jug, Jug, Jug. Where... Where is Jug? I it'll be up here. Oh, here! Hey, boy! Yeah, so, I, I remember correctly. Yeah, Speed Cola and Jug are the ones that can swap places. Good. I feel like the BMP probably can handle this. Where's the box is down below. So this, there was a way for me to get down there, right? I can jump from like somewhere here. Or am I crazy? I think I'm crazy, never mind. Um So my oh Oh I think I need to open this path and this opens up. Yeah, because I remember falling through that hole many times. Shrieker. There you go. Uh, shotguns in zombies, dude, they usually mostly suck. I know in the newer games that I don't own, so you won't see them in this video. Uh, yeah, I know, I know they get better. But in the older games, they always are caca pee pee. Oh, this might be a problem, actually. I'm so fucking stupid. 
I didn't think it would be that fast. Wow, my aiming sucks. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I'd never use shotguns in zombies, dude. Well, there goes Shangri-La. <laughs> oh, this must be the place where they bake all the apple pies. Okay, we got one more. I need to try one more time, dude. It's Jug. Come on. It is Jug. Let me try one more time, guys. Come on. See, this is what I should have been doing. Uh, I think, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Get me out of here, please. Please! Thank you. Ooh. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm choking, I'm dying, but I'm good. Nice. We did it! Hello, welcome to Moon. What can I serve you? I feel like all of BO1 each map has a lot of innovation in itself. Like they, they have like their own gimmick. They don't change like the whole formula, but they got their own gimmick in itself that like, gives you a good reason to play the map itself. Moons, the anti-gravity, and you know, the Easter egg if you want to do that. But yeah, you can get jug round one. You can do a lot of quirky little things in Moon. I personally don't know of them. I have not put the... Oh, right, insta-kill. I forgot I have that. I have not put the entire time to learn how to use the hacker optimally, for example, or whatever. Oh yeah, fun fact. I am forced to be Richtofen in this map because of the easter egg. The easter egg is basically Richtofen takes over the Samantha's powers, you know, the voice we've been hearing. Uh, now, in BO2, when we get there, he will be the announcer for most of it, because of that. If I knew how to do the easter egg, I would, because I honestly love that easter egg. I have not done it, I just love the, the story in the easter egg. I'm not really much of a easter egg guy, as I said, but like... Doesn't mean I don't care about the story, I certainly do. I think it's shit, like, it eventually turns to shit, but in, BO, in World of War BO1, it was still good. It was still a good story. It was still kind of black shit crazy, but it was good. This map's probably better if you're playing with people. Like, I, I like this map solo, don't get me wrong, but... I never play this map with people. But I feel like I would have more fun. I feel like... If I have fun on Moon, I feel like with people, it's better. I, I think that's bo one in a nutshell. Like, bo ones really fun on your own. But if you play with people, that experience, like, it's enhanced, right? That, that's how we see BO1 anyway. And BO2, to be honest. BO2 has very good maps, some of them. But, when you play them with people, which is mostly what I did during the PS3 and Pandemic, to be honest. During the Pandemic, we were playing BO2 like, ma like maniacs. I thought that said F for the hacker, but no. Yeah, I don't see... Honestly, I have a really hard time finding the hacker in BO3. Like, I, I feel like it's not detailed enough. But actually, it's kind of useful. I'm live. No! Why isn't the box on power? That would have been so much easier. I don't even want to kill them. I don't get any points. Better than anything. Won't make points, but at least I'll survive. <laughs> is the box in the biodome? Is that where it is? I don't. I don't know where that beam points to. To be honest. I do not remember very well. I, 
I didn't even realize what happened, dude. Teleporting Novas is not nice. Well, that's BO1-ish. Again, I'm really sorry. But yeah, on to BO2. Man. It, it feels weird. It feels weird to be here again. It just... I don't know, man. I have... I haven't played Transit in fucking forever. Like, actually forever. And I m might be wrong about this, but I don't think I've ever played Transit on my own. Who, who wants to play Transit on their own? Like, vanilla, regular ass, no mods Transit. Uh, doesn't sound like something I want to do if I can be real. Especially I feel like in this era, I, I guess we can still call it like the co-op era. Like, obviously you can play zombies on your own as I mentioned before, but like... I feel like this map is either co-op or good luck. Like, this map solo is not very enjoyable to me <laughs> whatsoever. So it's just... Don't get me wrong, in co-op it isn't either. In co-op, it's not, it's not good, but at least it's funny. Like, I can appreciate a bad funny map. But on solo, this is just bad. <laughs> I've n I've ne- what the f- what the fuck? I've never heard that voice line. That is not on the PS3. What the fuck? That's not on the PS3. Is this a plutonium thing? Is this some fucked up plutonium thing or- Was that voice line always there? That's not on PS3. Richtofen's never like, oh, um, sorry, I- I love that line, what the fuck? I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> What? You, you think you know a guy, you think you know a guy, then you play it on a different platform where the limitations of the hardware are non-existent. Is that a pluto- uh, no, that can't be a plutonium thing, no. Like, I don't think they're going through all the files, it's just- I don't have any mods on either, it's just pure raw Black Ops 2 and plutonium. So, in case it wasn't obvious, when I'm playing zombies on PC now, uh, I'm mostly playing the ma the games and maps I didn't get to play way back when. Like, I didn't have a- fuck. I didn't have a PS4, so I never got into BO3 or BO4, so that's where my time's going now on zombies. I don't often go back to BO2 or BO1. I do go to World at War because, again, that one I didn't experience it as much either, so it's like, oh, might as well. Um, but BO1 and BO2, I don't, not because I don't like, oh, I actually like them far more than the others, but, um, I, I just want to experience the new things that I didn't get to experience before. Things I don't want to stay here too long, the bus is gonna leave. I think I'd rather keep the ballistic knives, to be honest, I don't like the Chicon whatsoever. This thing's caca. Like, I get it, Avogadro, but like... Fuck, man, I don't even think I'm gonna get to see the Avogadro. I'm probably gonna die way sooner than that. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. Yeah, I can't lie, I don't remember where it's supposed to be. See ya, Ted. Come on, you dog shit piece of shit. I wish you could make him stay. I think that would be a cool command, like, stay, sit, move. That would be pretty cool. I don't know where this thing is supposed to be. Well, that's transit for you. So, the, literally, this room that room, well, that space, and that's it. 
that's literally it. No perks, no pack a punch, no nothing. This is this is a callback to Nacht. Uh, and I will say Nacht was bigger than this. If I'm not mistaken, at least. Um, I will say this is harder. Because at least Nacht, the ray gun was... Well, I, you can have the Mark II here. I don't know, actually. Like, Nacht, you can exploit the, uh, the zombies and shit. So, I don't know. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, maybe this is harder than Nacht. I feel like it probably is because I feel like the zombies are smarter here and you know you you can do the 24 zombie thingy like you can do it now so see I have not missed you at all this weapon has been the vein of my existence not even like oh it's, it's just zombies like in multiplayer it's better I agree but even then I as a kid, I didn't know how to use this in multiplayer. I just fired, and if something exploded, I, I was happy. What we did used to do was go around this corner. Like, for no reason. I don't think this is, like, a good safe spot or anything, but... I don't know. We, we just liked going there. I feel like that was relatively intentional. Right? Had to be. What is that? I didn't know the ground shook in this map. Yeah, so playing this on PC is making me realize the PS3 was butchered with the, with the BO2 version. <laughs> I don't know the 360. I assume the 360 run better. Well, oh, I'm alive. Nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I can get back a punch. Let's go. Oh, yes! I forgot. How could I forget? Exploding zombies. Oh! Well... I'm not very good at aiming dual wield. Apparently, I'm not very good at all. H how long are we into this video and I've been dying stupidly early? And hello! Welcome to farm! Biggest difference you can already tell. They are here. There are perks. Uh, if I remember correctly, above this barn is Double Tap. Welcome to Double Tap 2.0. They even make sure you know Double Tap 2. So yeah, this is the good version of Double Tap. Like, the other one's like, whatever. This one is like, please drink it. <laughs> like, this one's like, you must drink it. Is the M14 anywhere around here without me opening the house? I don't remember where. That's the Olympia, no. I want the M14 for like points. I don't remember where it is though. It might be in the farm, like the farmhouse, which is a problem. Because that means I have to open. I have to waste more money. I think only the Olympia is here. I don't see the uh, M14. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna have to open the house. Yeah, that's why the town strat is better in town, funnily enough. Because you can get the M14 without opening the bar. And then when you're set up fully, like if you get all the points and whatever, you can in fact just get the Galvis and go nuts till round 13. Because you, you only have the M19 and M14, and they don't do a lot of damage, but they help with points, at least in early rounds. Hello, baby! Yeah, so that's the thing... I, I think I was talking about it in... Is it in Kino? Or in Shang? I don't know. But BO2 does not have a lot of BO2 weapons in the box, and the ones that it does have... Are shit! Or... They are one of the best guns in the game, like the LSAT, for example, which we will see later on. It's fantastic. Then the M27 is pretty good. But then the War Machine sucks dick. The Death Machine we will see, and I think that's decent. It's just it's too heavy, especially in a map with no stamina. Up. Um, what else? What else? What else? No, that she comes as the M8A1 sucks. 
Yeah, well, the 5-7s are fine. The cap 40 sucks. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting weapons. But, oh, the Scar Rage is glorious in Origins. Scorpion Evo. It's fine, but it runs out of bullets too quickly. Yeah, so... Like, when you go to multiplayer, you'll see so many guns. And you're like, why are none of these in the Zombies maps? Like, where's the MP7? Where's the Vector? Where's the Q... USB, no, USB LSW, I think it was. Uh, where's um, the TAC, the TAC 45, even as a pistol. Don't mind me, I'm just living with my bulletless Shikon because it also has no ammo. I get it, it's a submachine gun, but it sucks. <laughs> I think in multiplayer, this gun's supposed to be better. I was never a Chikon guy in uh, multiplayer because of it. Oh my god, fucking die. I don't even want to give you the honor of killing a zombie. Ah! Not an awful weapon, but like... I need bullets. <laughs> I said bullets! Stop giving me shotguns! Oh my boy. You probably know the story of the Amatar, right? It was a really good weapon. Treyarch nerfed it, I think because of uh, multiplayer. But that also meant they nerfed it in zombies. So... The recoil on this thing is absurd now. Like, on controller... Using this weapon with a controller is borderline impossible. Even with a mouse, I'm struggling. I have to drag the thing down a lot. Yeah. See that shit? I, I look at this. Look at this trail of recoil. Look at this shit. Look at this. They massacred you, but I still love you. You're so good, Hammer. I love you so much. It's probably my favorite weapon in the game. I when, whenever I'm playing zombies with my friends, and we're, we're mostly playing like town, right? Um. And I get the hammer, they, they know. Like, it, 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 we have a meme, like, it, I just love the hammer. We have a friend that loves the, the, the DSR. And another friend that for some reason loves the RPG. <laughs> I, I dig it, I, I think that that's a, that's a good, that's a cool thing, like... Oh boy. Oh, I have quick revive, right. I believe you forgot. Yeah, you may notice there is no bugger punch here. Yeah, shotguns, dude. One of these days, shotguns will be... Well, I hear that in Cold War and Vanguard, are, they're good, but I don't own either of them. If they ever get on Game Pass, I can play them. I know Vanguard sucks dick, but it will be funny. Oh, the Type 25. Yeah, never mind, I'm sorry. There are far more multiplayer weapons here than I thought. If the MTAR had bad recoil, this thing has horrendous recoil. Oh, hello, Fall. See, there is a Fall in, in BO2 multiplayer. It's Fall <coughs> OSW. And they have the regular as Fall for some reason. They do have it in the campaign too. You have both in the campaign. You can actually have both. I'm live. I live, bitch. Oh, the execution. Yeah, never mind. My, my previous points were stupid. I wish you had the more multiplayer weapons, but you have more than enough. It all came around. It just took a few days. Run. Keep running, running, keep running, running. Yeah, I'm surprised how good the Python is, not gonna lie. Oh, 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 ole, ole. See, I told you it was good. See? You should trust me more. Yeah, Reagan. My guy ain't good. Like, round 16, no pack. Double tap does not affect the Reagan. Uh, my guy, my guy's kind of dumb for. 
I don't think I'll be able to get the mark to... If I don't get rid of this. I don't think I want to get rid of this. I think this is the first time we had the Reagan in this whole video. Like, Mark 1, anyway. Uh, so I didn't showcase what EMPs did before. You can probably figure it out, right? Observe. So yes, it freezes the zombies for a little bit. He's gonna wake up any second. But if you look at my bottom left, you'll see... Oh, double tap and quick revive work, but speed cola and jug do not. That's because I turned them off. EMP turns your perks off and freezes the zombies for a few seconds. All of it temporarily. So yes, if you do die, you do, in have, you do in fact have to buy them again. So I have to go buy them again. Isn't that lovely? I will say it is very funny and grief when you're playing like 4v4 in like town farm or whatever. It is very funny to throw an EMP at someone, you know, fuck the perks and it's like, oh fuck it. Let's, let's all die together. You can also shut off the bots and pack a punch. So yeah, there is some value for grief, but on your own, you never want EMPs. Welcome to town. Probably in a very unironic manner. Ma one of my favorite maps. Based around nostalgia quite a lot, yes. If you go to my PS3 file, well, the PS3 file I didn't lose. I, I, I did in fact lose it, so sorry, you can't go into my PS3 file. But, if you could go there, you would see this is my most played map. Because way back then, I did not have the DLC. Um, my first DLC experience was actually Buried. Because a friend bought Buried because they knew the Buried uh, map pack had the Mark II. And you could use the Mark II in town. So they bought Buried. It came with a Mark II, of course. And... They lend it to me through the PS3 passing digital purchases and whatever. So we we played a lot of Buried, we played a lot of Town. Eventually, like a year later, I get the season pass so I could play Mob and Origins because a cousin showed me Mob and Origins. I was like, I was in love with it. Eventually, we all ended up getting all the maps. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, Town's definitely my most played map, mostly through that era of, oh, I didn't have the DLC. And honestly, it's just such a fun map. It's just a pure survival map, no nonsense, no BS. Everything's here, it's very simplistic, it's very get on there, start shooting zombies, there isn't too many complicated things to do. I wouldn't be surprised if Town is one of the most popular zombies maps, even if it's not a full-fledged map, it's a survival map taken from transit. Like, this is the last area of transit. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the most popular zombies maps. Too bad in solo you can do the tombstone glitch. We we actually used to do that a lot. Like, I remember... We, we, fi we didn't figure it out, but like, we heard about it like very early on. So all of our town experience had a tombstone glitch. Like, we thought tombstone was amazing because of the glitch. And I don't think it's that bad of a perk. I know people hate that perk. I don't think, it, I don't think it's that bad. Like, there are worse perks. We will certainly get to them. Now, I want the max ammo, but I am kinda in trouble. I'm fine. Again, money making strats. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Money maker, here we go. Yeah, so the thing is, if you kill zombies with melee, you get far more points than if you kill them with like bullets. So the idea here is kill them with the gobble knuckles since they are for now I have a one shot weapon for eight rounds. So the idea is make all this look at all that money racking in. The idea is now I do this. 
No, I can get. I, I can actually go for the box, right? Like, I don't need the M19 or the M14 at this point. I could say for Jug that that would be like the next goal. I get to three two fifty, but I like a weapon just in case the M14 fails me. Fuck you, M14 it is. Technically not the worst thing in the world because I can just do this. Like I can actually use the Galbis faster. I can also move faster, so there's also that. It's not the worst thing I could have gotten. I can actually keep this for a relatively long round if I'm not mistaken, huh? I mean this was a slight blessing in disguise. Oh this is a problem though. Oh, come on! We have it. We absolutely did have it. We're abusing the... Th there was something there. I was getting out. I like that you get the points for reviving yourself. I need to get out of here. And get out of here, I did. The 720... Yeah, I, I have enough. Right now, I value these more than Quick Revive. And now, where are they? Again, I know I'm not making the most clever decisions. Like, I feel like my reaction times to get out of situations and like realize, hey, you're, you could get fucked here. They're not the best. Not anymore, anyway. <laughs> So, the other day I learned that people actually don't open the bank because it makes spawning worse. Like, you can hoard easier here without the bank open. Which I get, but like, that means you're playing without speed cola. That's honestly very ballsy, I will say. I feel like speed cola is one of the most important perks you need to get. Like, reloading quickly, you, you need that. Reloading could mean death, as it has meant death in this video. See, look at this shit. Instead, if I drink this... But yeah, it's still slow, but it's faster anyway. We'll keep using this, and then we'll swap. This is probably the most attention the Galvanacles are gonna get in this entire video, so might as well. Approved! Oh yeah, the cool thing about the survival maps that I was not uh, playing around, you can actually change uh, whether it, w your parameters for playing. Like, you have like magic only, ma magic uh, disable, which basically is goodbye perks and box. Uh, you can spawn hellhounds like every like six rounds, like it usually is. You can do headshots only if you are completely fucking insane. And then throughout the entirety of BO2 you can pick the original difficulty or make the map easier, which I think means zombies won't usually run, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I think that's what the difficulty total was, like, they, they start running at like far higher rounds than they usually do. Like in round 4 the last zombie starts running, zombies won't run until like round 15 or some shit. It's actually very useful if you're like pressured by the zombies running like this for example. They usually will not be running. Most of them will not be running anyway. We have to do it at some point in this video. I swear to god if I died because I was pack a bunch in the SMR. <laughs> Is this thing even good? Yeah, run 13. Three shots, huh? I was hoping it would be like a sniper. I like the reticle. Yeah, technically this is the game that introduces double pack punching The only difference is, unlike BO3 where it actually makes your weapon stronger, um, here it's just an attachment changer. Do I even get to reach those monkeys? I don't think I do. No. God damn it. 
would have been nice to have them. Fine, you're coming with. Oh my god, you're so clingy. And we're almost back to being sort of fully set up because I don't have the hammer pack a punch, but that's good. It doesn't need to be pack a punch, it's a beast. Serve. See? Why can't you be like. Oh. They really buy three times, huh? Oh, this might be a problem then, huh? Don't mind me, just escaping death. Okay, baby, time to carry, okay? The SMR is not gonna do it, you have to. Oh, there's a nuclear device over there. I could, but I'm not really in trouble. Double points, I cannot do one that. Fine, fine, fine. We're, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're getting the nuclear device. I was sort of in trouble. Good. Oh, this really fits into like worst decisions I've ever made. It was for the mean purposes, but now that I'm here holding it, I'm like, why the f this was not worth it at all. <laughs> I think Quick Revive is the only one with a perk limit, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, without double tap, it doesn't do as much. Oh, 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 oh. Do not get touched, do not get tickled, do not get anything. I can get out of this. I can indeed get out of this. With the beautiful power of the hammer. Problem is, the hammer is running out of bullets. I don't have quick revive anymore. Right. That means I can waste it on stamina. Do I even want stamina up though, or do I want to save for. S S Sir! Sir! I I'm not talking to the zombie, I'm talking to the SMR. Sir! You can't do this. Like, I remember it was bad. But I never put into perspective how bad the Pucka Punch version was. Like, I'm fully. Like, this is the most damage this thing can do. And it's struggling. And I know it's a semi automatic, but there are other semi automatics in other Zombies games that are, like, not like this. Like, fucking. The um, Pucka Punch Foul probably does more damage. I actually do need this. Oh! 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 I'm good. Clean up. In the corner. I'm just firing recklessly, I know, but like, it's working, selectively. I'll say it's working, I think we're, I think we're good. I'll use all the bullets for pocket punching anyway. I didn't think it would be over that soon, but we won. See, God bless the hammer, dude. Yeah, recall be damned, but... God bless the hammer. On mouse and keyboard, it's actually not that bad. It's far easier to control than in uh, controller, funnily enough. With all the aim assist in the world, it's still a pain to control in that. Honestly, the, the, the DSR is probably better. Well. Sir, please do something. Can you stop blowing in my face? God bless the fucking hammer. Oh, 
Finally, the SMR can do something. Selectively. Fuck you. I'm not falling for memes again. I almost killed myself for no reason. Sorry, I was obsessed with my lack of power. You know, two LMGs... It's not a bad idea, but it's not the best idea either. I have a stamina up, so it's not the worst idea with that, but... Otherwise it would be a very bad idea, I agree. Let's get this shit, let's get this shit. Uh, run. Corner, 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 corner. Uh, a little bit of this. Here you go, bitches. They're right behind me, they could be. Ah, you fools! <laughs> you forgot! You dare challenge the son of hammer? Please stop blowing in my face, dude. Like, they don't do that much damage, but when you get like 60 of them blowing up, you'll definitely die. And you get so many because there's a big ass pit of lava. different weapon that's not an LMG if I can I like adding my variety you know hello fall I was just talking about you while shitting on the SMR you know you've come to me all this way through green run I feel like I should keep them we're keeping them. I thought it would be the Mark II, that's why I didn't want to finish the sentence, but it was not. We'll keep them. They have been so nice to me throughout the entirety of Green Run. They deserve it. Oh, it's better than the SMR! Who have th fucking thought? The fucking pistol being better than the assault rifle, whoa! Yeah, I don't know what went wrong with the SMR in Zombies anyway, because I know in multiplayer is pretty good. It does a uh, a lot of damage and it has the burst fire option. I don't know what happened there. I know camping with the pistols with the low ammo is not the best idea either. But again, we're not going for the good ideas. Sometimes, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Well, the following map is definitely not a good idea. <laughs> That's in sure. I will say, firing this with mouse is very awkward. Like, I get it, but I don't know, I don't find it... Maybe it's because I'm not used to it, but I don't find it very comfortable. I definitely prefer L1 or R1 compared to mouse 1 and mouse 2. Fine, you wanna come with that badly, huh? Fine, get over here. Oh, you are not coming with, let me tell you that for free. Ray! Gun! <laughs> okay. Ray gun. Oh, hello, Nooktown, my boy! I know people are tired of seeing Nooktown. I get that. But on the other hand, I love Nooktown. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite multiplayer maps. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite zombies maps because I feel like it doesn't translate as well. But if you want Chaos Incarnate, Nooktown is indeed for you. As you can see, perks fall at complete random in several random spots that have this little cup, base plant, 
whatever this is. They fall at complete random. So, as far as I understand, in solo, this will always be quick revive. But if you're playing with people, this could have been Jug, Double Tap, Speed Cola, Pack a Punch, even. Enough of that! I don't want any more clean hits. I want to run. Oh, that's blocked. R right. Uh, get down here. Is that a part? No. No. Then it must be up there. Oh, no, it's here. Double tap. Okay. Not the worst perk we could have gotten. I think in solo they fall more frequently. Like, I think the more players you have, the longer it takes, if I'm not... At least if... Oh my fucking god. This weapon is unironically better than this box-exclusive weapon. What's here? Oh! No, 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 no. You will not, you will not, you will not do that. I don't think I can make it. No. You're shitting me. Two boxes for a fire sale, and I end up with this one. Huh. I am not blessed. I'm well aware that I'm not blessed at all. See, that's the thing with Nooktown, you can get ass fucked really quickly, or you can do great. I will say I'm not in the- oh! That's Speed Cola. Yeah, so we're getting Jug probably last, just not good at all. Did you go through your legs? Excuse you? So I have no real, no real perk that I want to get immediately. Like, I don't want to get double tap. I'm gonna die. Ah, Dude. I'm not very lucky, am I? Like, at least in this game. Thank you, Eddie. Whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, half the time I don't know what these quotes are saying. Like, all the accents, all the words, all the... Ah! All the static, all the whatever. All the all the, the, the voice mod they add for like possessed characters and whatever. Oh boy! Doesn't make it easy. Now you tell me with a straight face you understand every single word uh, Brutus says. Or the apothecary. Oh. Yeah, Nooktown. You sure are a bitch. Kaboom. This felt like two rounds ago. Maybe we'll get Jug. You're kidding me. You have to be shitting me. Like, actually, you're shitting me. I think my biggest problem with all these weapons is they're not even good. Like, BO1 didn't have good weapons either. But at least a pool of good weapons was. Like, they had a higher rate, I guess. I feel like this box is infested with shit. And all of a sudden you get a, a gem hidden amongst the 
fucking dog shit. <laughs> well, welcome to Die Rise. Power switch should be nearby. One of the maps of all it, time. Should I even entertain the idea of being up here? Let me down. I won't even act like I know what I'm doing in this map. I could very easily die through this hole. <laughs> Do I have any money withdraw? Let's see. I have some money. How much money? Oh boy, I have a lot of money. I did sick and bury it, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, had I known that, I actually could have gone for it in Dire Rise. I could have gone to actual town. Oh. Hello, Double Tap. Hello, Juggernog. Yes, we are cheating. How far can the part be, though? I, is it only on this whole floor? I think I went to... I think I'm going too far. See, the problem I have with this map is the layout, to me, is very confusing. And it looks any... Like, it, it looks creepy. I'll, I, I like that, but... See, I'm, I've been to this room. I don't know how to get back to the room I was in. Like, I'm going fucking circles. This is where I started. That's good. Well, it's part of I, I know the parts are not really far away. I think it's four. I'm missing, like, the body. So, yes, you can indeed fall off. Do not fall off. Yeah, so the part should be around here then. I'm missing like the the back. The kick, the withdrawal, whatever. Oh Milky was in this map, I forgot, yeah. I know it's in transit too, but I forgot it was here. Oh yeah, these guys have like slight armor, so they took two hits actually. I like that. I like I like special zombies that are not like super complicated. Only like the Shrieker or the Napalm, I don't mind. Yeah, I honestly don't think you can get up there from here anyway. I think I need to be on the other building. Again, I don't really remember this map. Well, here goes the Suicide Fire. So basically, you can, uh, like if I do this, you can slide, they slide. Uh, this weapon's very, very good for... It, it, it was unpatched. This was like the best weapon in Zombies because it did stupid amounts of damage. But yeah, you can slide off if you sit near the elevator, which means you die. So it's a blessing and a curse in a map that has no PhD flopper. Well, technically it does, right? I can... I guess I can get the perma perk, but you can't drink flopper. Nowhere to be seen. Oh, yeah, it is somewhere to be seen. It's in, like, some room in the, uh... You, you see through the elevators, but you cannot get there. Because of course you can. Because of course it'll be... I, I guess it will break the map. But if you have a vertical map, what better perk than Flopper? Um, that's for power. We kind of don't care about power. Where are they? Hello, Jumping Jack. Fun fact, if you kill them without missing a single bullet, you get a free perk. We're not gonna be doing that. that that's kind of why I wanted the Bowie knife, but I couldn't get it, so we're stuck here. So yeah, they're basically Novas, but they don't fart when they die, and they jump all over the place, they suck. Oh, fantastic! Now I've got a chance! Uh, then I go this way, ow. Oh, hello, Galvis. I don't think I can make enough money to buy them. Not in this bumfuck corner of Die Rise, anyway. Mm. Yeah, I, need to f I need some breathing time. I need to figure out where I'm going. Did everyone see me do that? This way? It is this way. Okay, good. Oh, the AN-94. We'll be talking about you in two maps. Like two maps from now. I kinda want to buy it now, but I, I wanna save it for the big guy.
No, this is not the right way. I think this is. I remember a friend of mine did used to know a lot about this shitty map. I wish I was him right now. I don't know where the fuck to go. Now it's my turn. Oh, 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 I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me explore for a little bit. I went that way already. I think I went this way. I think it's the same way. Yeah, yeah, I am. I was here already. Where the f liberty fuck is the box? As well, go in circles. Whatever. Oh, you can't get in here. That's sick. Very good. Oh. Oh, well. I guess we die. Yeah, no! I didn't grab it. There you go. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. It has to come up more. Up. Slightly more. Right, that, that is how pack works, right? <laughs> like it needs to come up a little bit more up. There you go, thank you. Thank you. And we can get out of here. Very carefully. <laughs> fuck you, thy rise. Go fuck yourself. How do we get out of here? Oh, never mind. Okay, one last try. But I actually want to know where the fuck this is. Do, do I? I went that way. I guess I'll... I'll get on top of quick revive since I have not done that yet. Because I don't think I've been up here. Yeah, that's spawn, right? Oh, this is spawn. Hold on. Yeah, I'm back at spawn. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. I'm figuring it out. So from spawn, I think I... Okay, so this... I'm confused again, god damn it. So this is where who's who is. This this way. Okay. And to go this way. They come, they're coming. Hi! Hello! Big oh, world what? I wish. I can't afford it yet. Oh take nap card! Oh fuck the nap card, dude. Oh, I'm going to Who's Who. Here it goes. See, here I am. And now I revive myself and I fall off. <laughs> well. <laughs> I could not. I could not have thought of a more die rise way to end this. That's die rise in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Come, welcome to Mob of the Dead. What can I help you with? The best, that's the most beautiful map of all time. So happy to be here. I was out of my body. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful beast of a map, dude. I love it so much. Where the fuck are you? You here? The first time playing this, dude, I was horrified. Like, look at this shit. Look at all this shit. Like, yeah, I know I don't live in the US, but it's like. Who doesn't know Alcatraz Island? Hey man, Zombies map on Alcatraz you, Island, what a crazy good idea. Bomb. Done, done. Here goes another. I, I love Poppy. Poppy's so cool. He'll give us a very cool weapon. Yeah, so, I'll say this is where Zombies got more like... 
quest like easter eggy like die rise and this are very different if you can already tell this has like more setup more planning so this is where i basically have to stop sleeping at the wheel <laughs> How many dogs was it? I think it, uh, zombies. Sorry, how many zombies does a dog need? Five. Perfect. Perfectly timed. What? Looks like the dogs wandered off. Now we go to the diner. We get the box, and in the meantime, we check if the key's there. Oh, I'm getting very lucky with all of this, huh? Let me let me get a weapon first, then I'll kill myself. Context. You will, you'll never, you'll never ditch me, huh? You'll stay with. If I had that door open, I could open the gondola, but nope. Yeah, so there is a lot of planning and setup that goes into this map. If you couldn't notice already, like I'm talking out loud, so I don't forget. But there is a lot of setup that goes into the more uh, modern maps as time goes on. You can like that, you can dislike that, I get both stances. Personally, I really like this map, as I said, it's my favorite. But I can see why some people don't like it. There is far more setup if you want to do everything. Like, if you do, if you want the fullest potential you can. It's not just, oh, get to the box. The liquefier, yeah, you have to build this liquefier, but all the parts were in one, basically in one room. Like, they weren't really that far away. Mob, you basically have to open the entire map to be set up. You don't need to do that before this. Like, as soon as you got to the box before this, you're good. Not anymore, you don't. Oh, this site is open in Blood of the Dead. I'm stupid. I've been playing more Blood than Mob, sorry. Yeah, that's like a cardinal sin for Mob fans. <laughs> Oh well. Give me that shit. I... Thank you. Who the fuck made all these things? That's what I want. Don't die. See how much I can open, actually. Before he dies randomly, I would rather. Yeah, so I'm missing. Two pieces. One. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, I remember which pieces. God damn it. Yeah, these ones are kind of tedious. Can't even lie. Yep. Yep. I do indeed know. I can't even. I don't think I can. I guess I could do it all in one afterlife. But I don't want to. Yeah, I need to turn all these thingies off. One of us needs to zap that shit. Shock to overload. Oh, I didn't know if you got close, it says that. Oh, that's nice. That's actually helpful. Um, Yes, yeah, shock that and then the numbers. I can do that all in one afterlife, but I think I'd rather have two for when I inevitably die. I think it's time to make points. Like, I've been focusing too much on the plane. I need to make bank. And get the Hell's Retriever whenever I get the chance. The dogs are done, so the Hell's Retriever should be spawned. Yeah, this is why I bought the, o the UC. It's relatively strong. And it makes bank. What even is it? No, it's not that, it's this one, right? Yeah. Up there? I swear I always grab it from down here. Okay, there's something like this. It's not working. Maybe that's like a speedrun strat and not like the true way of getting it. Oh, 
I got it. See, I wasn't crazy. I just might be dead, but I wasn't crazy. Let's go get Speed Cola and the Blundergat. I guess I'll build it up here. Like, I won't, don't think I'm gonna get the shield, but I might as well build it up here. I don't see any reason not to. You think you are? Put your filthy paws on me! Okay, this time we're gonna get the blunder god. Unless something really stupid happens. It shouldn't. But you never know, it's me we're talking about. I think the health retriever is still good. But in case I'm in any sort of trouble, I'll just health retriever it all. Oh. The, U the UC sure shit ain't worth it. Goodbye, Raygun. Thank you, Raygun, for your services, but welcome to the Blunder Gat. Beautiful beast of a shotgun, if I do say so myself. Don't get too comfortable with it, though. It's not gonna last forever. What? Wait. Oh boy, oh fuck. I'm so fucking stupid. I don't even... I don't even have an excuse for what I just did. Yeah, good thing I'm saving on those afterlives. Oh my god. I should have one more. Stop! Oh my god, I'm in the worst place I could be. I might, I might need to drop it. What? Oh, you lose it? Well, I got fucked. Well, see ya, Blundergat. I didn't know it was. I thought it was just stay there. Why does it leave? Like, no one... Is it like Pucka Punch? I didn't know that. Well... That was more of the dead. We didn't get to the plane. That sucks. But yeah, the plane, Pucka Punch, clear map. Woo! Welcome to Buried! Mm-hmm. Somehow... I don't think that wound's gonna heal it. Sorry, I'm just taking into account the detail on this map is very impressive. Like this starting area, considering you rarely come back here, this is very detailed, very cool. Look at all that shit. Yes, yeah, so very. This is the first DLC map I've actually played. I have a lot of good memories with it. Like this probably is the second most played map we have with my friends. But I don't know about that because we also play Origins and Mob quite a lot. A lot, a lot. Thank you. Good. Welcome to Buried! Lovely, lovely map. I love the cowboy aesthetic in this one. It's so cool. Again, I feel like th there are two different eras. We just run through the, fir the first map of the new era of zombies. Like, Mob was the start of the new, more like, quest-like era. Uh, that was led by Jason Blundell, and all the other maps were by Jimmy Zelinski. Like, led by, obviously, there's a whole team behind it, right? But, um, I'll say Zelinski, like, not to say Blundell didn't have, like, unique, uh, looks. But Blundell definitely aimed for, like, a more hellish and uh, disgusting aspect. Well, I feel like Bl uh, Zelinski was more like, um, he was more like, oh, this is... A cool idea, isn't it? Oh, that's all my money. Okay. 
Yeah, I spent a lot of it in there, right? I just realized. I need the Leroy drunk. I need to open the rest of the map. Let's see, where is my big boy? And where's my boost for the big boy? Oh, there he is. So, basically, Leroy gets drunk. He breaks those little special debris. And that's basically, between that and money, that's how you progress through the map. The good thing is, the boost and the chalk, they give you money. So, I'd say Buried is one of the rare instances where you're not struggling for money in zombies games. Between that and the bank, you definitely have ways of having money in this game. That's for fucking sure. See, for example, I do this. I know I had the bank, so I'm playing on easy mode, basically, but... Uh, there goes the chalk. There goes speed cola. Oh, there you go. Flubber. There you go. We got Flubber. Nice. Get over here, come on, come on, come on over, come real quick here. We're gonna attempt fate. Let's see you. Uh, let's give you this. And go nuts, little guy. So, remember how I said you barely struggle for points in Buried? That was kind of a lie, because you will see... To get to Pack-a-Punch, not only is there a maze, after this house, but this house itself hosts the witches. The witches do not harm you as long as you have money. But if they make you run out of money, they will start harming you. But whenever one of them is gonna punch me, I'll lose money. It's surprisingly well, wow. I n oh boy. Getting, it's getting crowded in here, and I get very friendly real quick. Getting friendly. The amount of times I die to zombies dropping from here, it's honestly too shameful for me to admit. Oh my god, hitboxes? Hello? Do, I, do you go backwards with this? Yeah, I do, yeah. Look how beautiful this weapon is! Marvel in its magnificence! Too bad I didn't get to pack in, um, in mob. I love the lava, the lava pack-a-punch camo, but whatever. I got to enjoy my time in mob. I li I enjoyed my time. I got the blunder god. <laughs> Get me out of this. I'm not a religious person. Get me out. Fuck you. Just like that, I got all my perks back. ECS5. We do not need him, Misty. We're good. I think I'm gonna go put some money in the bank. Like, I'm not pretending to go back to Pack a Punch. Like, I'm not dying to get all the other perks. As well, put all the money back. Just for future Fran, whenever he needs 3,000. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll just... Whenever he eventually wants 3,000 3, points, they're there. You know, I took 12,000, might as well put 3,000 back. <laughs> Hello, Leroy. He's a dog shit. He didn't run away. I thought he ran away after getting one 
shot. I guess if I shot him again... Yeah, you don't like Vulture, do you? Sorry about that, little guy. Yeah, I thought... I, I, headshot, I thought he would run away to his cell. He did not. I thought it was just a single shot. Turns out no. I guess he can tank some shots then. That's good. Oh, I just realized I don't have double tap. Like, my gun's gonna start falling off. Soonish. I got the Mark II, but like... Yeah, I was surprised the Galil was not being a laser beam. Like, it's killing, don't get me wrong, but I was surprised it was not just one-shotting everything. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have a double tap. It is pocket punched, so it should be killing. And it is, but like... I was surprised it wasn't killing faster. That's because I don't have double tap. You can use this for either evil or be nice to your friends. Y your choice. Like your friend gets the Mark II, you go back, you he lost he loses it, he loses his perks even. You can go crazy with it. I know some stuff stays regardless of time. I think I don't remember if it was I think it's weapon no, I think it's points. No. No something stays. I don't remember if it was either weapons or points. Or maybe I'm lying, maybe nothing stays. But I know you lose like uh, I know you lose like the perks. Oh, power up stay because there's a uh, the time bomb glitch. Well, glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch. But basically, you can get two perks from the witches if you get the time bomb. But once the perk spawns, you don't grab it. You throw the the time bomb. The witches start spawning again. You then grab the perk you had, like the perk power up. Then when the witches die, they drop another one, and that's it. I think only one player can have the time bomb, but if more had it, you can probably do more than two. But I think only one player can have it. It'll be too broken otherwise. Right? In fact, if I get a max ammo, I'll do it. I'll go to pack a punch, get the paralyzer, pack a punch. I just need a max ammo, though. And there you have it, we have six perks. I got Mule Kick again, but that... whatever. So the cool thing about the Paralyzer is... You can indeed fly. You can only do it through the doors. Like, not through all of the maze. So that's fine, dude. You can fly in a zombies map. That's stupidly broken. And we'll get it upgraded for the sake of it. Excuse me, don't mind me, I'm just camping a little bit, I'm good, thank you. See, I killed them, and I get back some Mark II ammo, not, not a lot, obviously, it'll be more broken, but I'm getting Mark II ammo back. Yeah, I guess you can just do that. If you have the Paralyzer, you can pretty much... Your movement goes crazy if you have the Paralyzer. You'd better take real good care of this. Excuse me... Can I survive this? And they're hitting slower. But I'm running out of Paralyzer juice. Let me deposit! Yes! How did I get away with it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this map's a camper's dream, dude. 
Like if you, if I had all the tools here, I could camp in many spots. God, he got all of them. Like, I get it, that's the point of the burst. But looking at it, actually cleanly take out so many of them is actually so sick. You better take real yes, Misty, I got it the fifth time you said it, bitch. The money's safe. Another cool thing, if you're playing on your own, if you're playing with people, I think you can, like, galby somewhere around here. I think this one. You can galby it, and then the money will show up as a drop. And the, uh, your friends can have it. Like, you take money off your account to give to your friends, basically. Yeah, this shit's busted, dude. At least this early on, well, quote unquote early. I don't know, I could. Do you guys consider around 20 early? I don't know, to me it's like mid to late. Like, it takes a while to get to around 20, I don't know. Like, I've been playing this for like an hour. Let alone if I mention all the maps I've been playing today. All the BO2 maps have been playing being played in one day, dude. My zombie stamina is running out. Oh no, 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 no. Oh I'm not looking at my count. Oh, in the bottom. Yeah, I feel like I'm never gonna die in this map otherwise. Let me, uh, do this. I, this is probably the only map where I'm gonna do this. Well, maybe, I don't know, BO3, BO4. They're rather easy. Especially if I choose to use gobble gums and elixirs, but... Origins, the map that changed it all, most likely. Like, I, I feel like that was actually mob. But Origins is more complicated in the same way that BO3 and BO4 became more complicated. So I think Origins is like the start of the new new era. Mob was like the base. But this is indeed the one that changed it all. For better or worse, depending on who you ask. Personally, I love the map. But some of the other maps trying to replicate this map were a bit fucky. Let's see. Honestly, Origins and Mob probably have like the most unique if weapons in the box. I must learn how these Let's see. Is so W? Okay, point machine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I dig with it. It's a point machine then. I have an idea. For two. I don't know if I should use it now. I feel like. It the perfect point was in round one. But now there are more zombies, so maybe it's not that bad of an idea. Choose to bless us. I am imbued with the warrior spirit. Okay, the round's still active, good. I, I thought it will end the round immediately. Like I know I missed out a chance of making a lot of points, but I wasn't trusting the PDW there. I don't know, there's nothing here. That's honestly quite shocking. Big size here, no nothing. I assume it's because it hasn't rained. Or I'm getting shit luck. Either or, I hate both explanations. <laughs> Come on, man, let me dig. Come on, dude. Let me get that stuff early. Come on. Let me dig. Okay, got that. Oh, 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 oh. I, I need a breathing room. I need a breathing room. Hold on. Uh, where's this? This shit. Shield, good. From these uh, small pieces, this. something larger can be built. Yeah, so I feel like this is where they got a bit trigger happy with the, oh, it can be in three different locations. Like I get how it could get boring if it's all in the same location, but at the same time, go fuck yourself for putting it in various locations. 
Like, I feel like this, they just happen to run into the perfect limit. But some maps get too trigger happy with a different location. Like, at least those locations are relatively close by. Like, this map you can split up into different areas, right? Like, Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But some maps get too trigger happy with it. Ooh. Scorpion Evil? Give me something good. This will cook the panzer, I can't say it doesn't. Few are stranger than this. So now I can continue Gen 5 and 6. And I can focus my entire attention on these two gens for uh, the ice stuff. I can fully focus here. And whenever I need the running, I have all this lovely, great dog shit room for it. To your true nature, child. You should be. You, you very, you very well should be, Takio. I remember the ending of the Easter egg. People were so upset, dude, because they thought zombies was like game in some child's room. It was really funny to be in forums back then. <laughs> so, some people saw beyond that, like some people saw, oh no, this actually means more because multiverse and whatever. Like, some people already saw through it, but most people, like most casual people, they were like, oh, new map. They did the Easter and they were like, oh, this sucks. Like, I feel like it wasn't like the finest cutscene to showcase the multiverse and the plan and all that. Escape from the frames. Man, the way in forums back then was very funny. Like I didn't use the internet much on my own. I actually got into forums more with like one of my cousin's house. He was definitely more into zombies than I was at the time. Um, but it was really funny to see all of that. Like, looking back, it was really funny. This map's actually 10 years old this year, right? Because this... Black Ops 2 is 2012. This map definitely did not came out in 2012. So it's a 2013 map. Well, there are my copies. You can find them. You can get me out. You can open the gateway to Agartha. Go fuck yourself. I think that speaks worse of myself. The fact that I know the entire line of dialogue than BO2. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm the problem, not necessarily BO2. You and your copy, Samantha. <laughs> uh, give me that shit. See, if I were doing the fire stuff, I would be near completion. The generators are functional. What's made of operation you? Sadly, I'm not going for the fire stuff. Can I even go for the fire stuff? Is it playing anywhere around? The thing is, whenever it starts snowing, I know I have a bunch of these sites. It's good to know. My shield's alive, okay, good. What? Get out of here! <laughs> Fine, we're good. I don't care about the ground phone at this point. I can stay there for all I care about. Fuck! I fear the sound of all the Did Maxis come with? I don't think he did. Thank you, Ice Staff. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Give me a sec, I'm solving things. Dun 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 One. We know not what we have done. Yeah, we do. Thanks to YouTube tutorials when back when I was young. See, I don't know why I like... I like learning this map and more, but I did not like learning all the other shit that came after this. 
I'm really explain why. Like I learned, um, I learned that Isandra Rod. I don't consider myself a learned person yet of shadows. I learned Setsu. I even did the Setsu Easter egg on my own, but that's because it wasn't that difficult. But all of that I did with like, not the most OP of gobble guns, but like mid to high tier gobble guns, like soda fountain, self medication, and all that. I definitely had extra money. <laughs> No! Oh! I stuffed my beloved! Why am I doing this? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? Ooh. I need Maxis, that's what I'm looking for. I need, I, need, I need the Maxis drone if I'm gonna go upgrade the staff. And I'm out of shield, so I'm gonna need a shield, but that's on the way, so that's fine. <sighs> oh, am I alive, dude? No. Part of me wants to take it because I want to get the Boom Hilda. I but I will just upgrade it to Scorpion Evo, dude. Ever. I don't want to waste that much money. I if I was talking about Berry not being a map that you are like, oh, I don't have money. Origins is definitely a map that you're like, oh, I don't have money. Even with a money drop, the bonus points, or well, blood money, whatever they call it. Um, Origins is always some of them like, I don't have money. Because it's so big, you so many doors, so many shit. Um, so yeah, that's... Very, yeah, you have a method of losing all your money. But if you're good, you don't. Like, I showcased it twice. Uh-huh, see. So, there we go. And time for the final step of upgrading. As far as I know, nukes, like, actually, in BO3, nukes do contribute to this. I'm not 100% sure, but supposedly, they do. Either that or you spawn a death machine, and you get it anyway. Okay, so let's see. I can invisible enemy. I strike max ammo. For the moment, we need not worry about ammo. Yeah, keep Maxis just in case. Like that's why I, I always bring him to the upgrade process, just in case I inevitably die. See, like right now, I'm kind of tight. That's good. Oh my god, let me out. Can I get the power of the ice staff, please? Thank you. Give me that shit! Who's arrow? Give me this shit. Please give me a good weapon. So let's go! <laughs> I know there's a quest you can do to get the pack a punch, whatever the aim is, but um, no! <laughs> Fuck your quests! I did one already, and it took me quite some time. On my way, on my way. Wait, does a monkey not work? I think it does, right? It sure does. Good. Oh yeah, I can't get away. The, the robots here. How the fuck is it? Why am I here? Excuse you. Right, when you freeze them, they actually don't fully freeze, it's kind of weird. It's like, they're frozen, but not really. Like, they're freezing, it's not like they're dead dead, it's just, they're dying. Oof, 
Blubber? Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Bitch. Okay, might, might as well... Oh, I don't have double tap anymore. Yeah, this might be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, these guns... Good. You know, double tap, no nothing. And shredding. The gun's good, good. See, I, I love the staffs. I, I love this. The staffs are so cool. They, they are very unique. They have the elements. I, honestly, I know. I, I know it eventually becomes like a rather annoying thing that they did with every, like almost every map has like a four type elemental whatever. But I think Origins nailed it the best because I think the, the, all the lore, all the mystical shit. It's so good. So, so well done. I will say that the bows in the E, they, get, they come close just because I, I'm a sucker for bows in first person shooters. Like, I love having a bow in a game where you usually have a gun. I don't know why. So, having like myth, mythical bows of different weird what the fuck effects. I like it. I like that a lot. But the staffs, I have also the nostalgic bias, so all hail the staffs. <laughs> oh, it, it literally is coming this way. I thought it was just close by. No, it's literally this way. See? For all of you in the comments that were like, no, oh, Fran, you didn't get the five perks, fuck you. A mighty wind has blown up. What else can we do? I guess the, the golden shovel. Tokyo, great upholder of the dying samurai spirit. Please help me. I'm trying, girl. Well, no, I'm not trying. I'm, the, I'm not even doing the Easter egg. Oh, fuck you, girl. An angel? Or a demon? Well, I mean, I guess it's neither. I don't know what how to explain what the fuck Samantha is. Oh boy, hello. Yeah, this might be the end. I yeah, I I did not I did not listen to this I was in zombie blood. I guess you can hear them in zombie blood. But yeah, that's VO2. Boy that took way longer than the other ones. Boy oh boy. On to BO3, which will probably take even longer. And here we are, Shadows of Evil. First PL3 map we saw, well, I say we as if I was here, I was not. <laughs> I was absolutely not. But yeah, the starting map of Shadows of Evil, a very quest heavy sort of map. Basically, following the mob and origins formula rather than the World of War BO1 and some of BO2 formula. We'll talk about that little thing I just did. We'll talk about it. Trust me, we'll talk about it. But yeah, also, a very different mechanic that I would like to act as, we, as if I were surprised, but we did play Shang and Moon on BO3. Um, yeah, you can take three hits now. The problem is the zombies are cracked. We'll talk about this. Well, I might as well talk about it now. Um, yeah, welcome to Gobblegums. So... I hate these things, <laughs> and I wanted to use some of the broken ones to showcase why. Um, pretty much, gobble gums allow you to change the game in various diverse ways. Some of them are good ways, are like funny ways. Some of them kind of break the cycle of the game, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, basically I spawned a fire cell that lasts for a long ass time. I thought there was a box in the spawning room, there isn't. So yeah, honestly this map is very interesting. Like I would say nowadays it's definitely more appreciated than it was a launch. Like I remember reading a launch, people did not like this map. And, like I can see why. Honestly it's a bit too complicated for like a starting map. 
And it was the only map if you didn't pay for like the season pass or whatever it was for the giant. Which we will play later on. We will, we will. Because I needed the, the re-scoping revenge. Oh, here comes big boy. Yeah, he does not spawn on run day, let me tell you that for free. Definitely does not spawn on round three. This is the Marwa. Lovely little guy, isn't he? He is very annoying. Like, annoying in a good way, like a mini boss should be, but still annoying. Just because he's well designed doesn't mean he's not annoying, you know what I mean? Yeah, so basically, I feel like Shadows. I wish I like I like it, uh, but again, I wish I like it more because it, I feel like it's a good mix between Origins and Mob. Because like Mob, obviously you have the uh, the Apothecan Beast mode, whatever. And the Origins, this honestly is a very big map, and you have all these like questline shenanigans with a Wonder Weapon and whatnot. You have to build it, like. I see, I see it. I see what they try to do, but I don't know. Like, it doesn't convince me as well as the other two do. I don't know why. Like, honestly, I don't know why. I know it's a bit silly, but I don't know why. Um, I've been in trouble. They're probably behind me. Please let me through. Thank you. Drink it. Oh, and we got a new perk as well. Well, new for this game, obviously. This game is like eight years old. I'll say new for all these games. But, you know, new in terms of the progression we've been taking along this video. This is Widow's Wine. Honestly, between first and second best perk in the, the franchise. Like, when you get hit, they all get frozen. It takes one of your grenades. They all get frozen. Fuck your grenades. See? You get grenades every round, I think you're fine. I ain't going down that easily. I thought... A Marwa... I thought a Marwa was meant to spawn. I guess not. Oh yeah, the death machine's back. <laughs> In case anyone was keeping count. I, I just talked about like these things like if someone completely new to zombies is watching this video for some reason i know like for people that play all these games back to back they're like oh i know idiot but i don't know who's watching i don't know who's out there where's my backup weapon oh yes dude yeah welcome to personally one of my most broken gobble guns i feel like getting one 2050 whenever you want. I don't know though, that's kind of broken. And if you mix it with double points, you get far more. I don't know, dude, I feel like this is very broken. Like, I know there are worse things in this game, like shopping free, that's basically this but one minute. It makes everything free. You couldn't tell by the name. But I don't know, man. I feel like this one's pretty good as well. Just because it gets outclassed by the others doesn't mean it's not so a good. You know? it yeah, BL3 mechanics had a wall running, so might as well put it in one of the zombies map. I don't think many of them have. Like, so I can think of like three out of five. Yeah, okay, maybe, in, maybe not that bad. So are these worms gonna fix everything? Yeah, welcome to the new era of zombies. The era everyone loves. I I I see it. I I. Don't get me wrong, I see it, but I, I think this is a bit too much. You got like Cthulhu and shit, I like it, but at the same time, it's like... Wasn't this about like, World War II? I don't know. Your service to the Overlords is... I, I, I don't want to complain too much, because I love Mob and Origins. I feel like, it's not fair. Yeah, in you go! Hello, Meatball, that for some reason exists in this map. I can't even hit them, I don't know even where they are. Let me introduce the new mechanic, you bitches! Oh, that's a big boy! I didn't know big boy was here. Um. 
teleport or does he fall? Oh, he's here, good. Hey, big guy, don't mind me. There you go. Yeah, so I, I know it sounds very scary when I see the Marwas and they just keep dying, but like, I promise these things, if you're not prepared, they're dangerous as fuck. I, will, uh, I promise you. Oh, yeah, you can fall off here in case you were curious. Yeah, welcome to the new pack a punch mechanic where you can pack a punch twice and instead of getting attachments like in BO2, your gun actually gets stronger and it gets like an effect. Like, for example, this is fireworks. See, little fireworks. If zombies approach, they will die. There are like five of these. That's pretty cool. Like, I, I like the incentive of wasting more money in pack a punch. One that's sadly RNG. I need a meatball to spawn again. I need like a meatball plasma or whatever the fuck. Yeah, so, again, once you learn the map, everything like this, it all feels very... I, guess, I would say intuitive. Like, it makes sense. Like, what, what, what you're doing makes sense. It works. It's reasonable. But when you don't, that's when it's like, oh, what the fuck is this? Which I know it's not exclusive to Shadows. I, I would say it's exclusive to this whole way of doing zombies mode. Like, the whole quest and bigger maps and more and more. I know it's weird for someone being a big fan of like the casual just survive mode. I know it's weird seeing like, oh, he likes Origins, he likes Mob. But I do, I really, really do. With those wine, man. It's broken. Oh, this is a problem. I'll, I'll just buy it so I can actually not have the Wonder Weapon in my uh, second slot. I hope these are the meatballs. It would be useful if these were meatballs. I wanna get the wonder weapon. Ooh, hello. Uh, no. Oh! Whoa! Okay, so it's not just the meatballs, it can be the bugs. Okay. Let me finish the round then, and I'll show you <coughs> the power of the Apothecon Servant. Damn it, I'm completely... It's never nice to hear that, dude. It's never nice to hear that. That sound sucks. That animation sucks. No, not sucks from like that, like an objective. Oh, it's poorly crafted. It's just so weird, dude. Such a weird thing, but yeah. Allow me. Big boy. Allow me to showcase the power of this thing. And down you go. I don't know if it does anything to the Marwa. But the zombies, yeah, they're all dead. Yeah, so, I, well, I'm not fully set up, but I'm doing pretty well with the setup. That's why I was talking about how... Yeah, I could die early in the older maps, but in the newer maps, I'm gonna get further because there are more tools. The player becomes such an overpowered beast in the newer maps that it's like, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of tools to deal with them. That's... I like and don't like that at the same time. Like, when I when I die in the reason, like, round four, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. But I want to try again. You know what I mean? Like, I want to go again and prove that I can actually play for longer. Uh, here it's like, oh, what? Oh, I died in, like, round 30 because I have... Cool weapons. Like, it's not. Oh, fuck. Well. Again, the maps are easy. Yay. <laughs> yeah, the map can be very difficult if you don't know the map. But I feel like I know the map enough to be like, yeah, this isn't that tough. I died because of the shield part. Like, I was very confused. You. Jackie B claims that a minor victory. Um Yeah, I'm gonna need to rebuy some perks, huh? But at least I got jug. The like, jug's good enough. I don't need the money. Like I was rolling to see if I got solar fountain again for perk purposes, but if not, that's fine. I don't think I want to buy Quick Revive again. I feel like I 
did more than enough to show the map. What I'm gonna do is turn on Widow Swine because I didn't turn that on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, yeah, I could get the Apothecary Sword, the specialist weapon, I know, but like, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care that hard about it. Wow! He hit. Was there another zombie behind me? Like, how did that guy hit so fast? I think someone else was behind me, though. Because otherwise, he had to do five hit points to me with one zombie. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> but yeah, that's Shadows of Evil. It's a fun map. But you need to put a lot of time into it. Welcome. Welcome to a simpler time before... Fuck, even before BO1, I will say. Like, something like Moon is far com more complicated than this. Welcome to... The Giant, also known as The Reese. My Redemption. I... This is The Reese, but easier. Because, you, again, you have the gobble guns, all the new mechanics, the zombies are in as jank, as in World of War. This is not the first time we saw the Reese back. Like, BO1 brought all the World of War maps with Moon. Um, but they were not, like, remastered, because the graphics were very comparable. It was, like, only a two-year difference. But in the Giant, yeah, we can see a big graphical glow-up. I would say it doesn't feel as creepy as... Original The Reese does. Like, original World of War gives me a very creepy I must survive vibe. This map gives me more like a. Oh, an adventure sort of vibe. Even though it's the same map. For a simpler time, we get simpler gobble guns this time. It's not a Thompson, right? No. I wish it was the Thompson, not the BMP. So that's one of the teleporters, but we don't need that right now. Hello, see, this is Mule Kick. Double Tap 1.0 used to be here. And you know, same old, same old. This is what I didn't get to do in original The Reese. See, we got the power back on. I gotta get some ammo. Fuck! <laughs> I hate snipers, dude. Oh, I have sword play. I don't know, should I go for the teleporter or get a weapon? Like, I think I should prioritize survival. Whatever the hell. Oh, hello, double tap. Yeah, see, randomized perks. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? I didn't even know what perk would be here. Yeah, so obviously as time has gone on, they've added more and more perks. Um, I don't think every perk is in this map, but since they have more perks than World at War did, they had to find new places where to put the perks. So I guess that fucking explains why that's there. Free refill. Oh, yeah. yeah, might as well try. I don't know. Like, I feel like... Shouldn't they have color? Yeah, this ain't working. Bitch. Yeah, these are the three. I'm not crazy. Oh, there you go. It activated. Why did they remove the green tint of the flask? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Why would you do that? Oh, wow. This is an electronic version of the oh my god I forgot how electronic it is oh my god it's a like 4 a.m. edibles version of beauty of annihilation yeah honestly I don't know is this one might be copyrighted because I don't think it made it was made by Treyarch so. Got him. yeah so this is how the risk should have gone me being all set up. All perfectly fine. This is how it should have gone. I didn't 
even get to use the Bunda buff in, in World of War. Might as well showcase it now. Oh, this looks awful. I never aimed down the sides with the Wonder when the Bunda buff. Yeah, no wonder I never did this. Looks horrible. Oh, I missed. Oh. Yeah, so in World of War, there is you'll be camping in the catwalk. Here you are training. We have come so far. And I think my brain while I was playing World of War was in BO3 mode because I was playing BO3 before that. Why is that happening? What the fuck? Oh! Excuse me. Classic the reuse using your in plain sight. Yeah, so in plain sight is basically like zombie blood in Origins. You get two for 10 seconds. I would say. The VO3 wound the buff. Very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I will say that. Uh, GG's. I love the Wunder Buffer. I love the Wunder Buffer. It's not the best Wonder Weapon in the world, but it's probably the most, outside of the Raygun, probably the most iconic. Maybe the Thunder Gun, I don't know. But I love them both, so who cares? It's just so cool, like you shoot a little young and they blah 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 blah. It's just so cool, like they used to do so much cool shit. I feel, I feel like. I didn't buy Cold War or Vanguard, um, mainly because of that. I didn't see anything. I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Like all their ideas felt like, eh, like that looks like it plays well, and that's it. I, I like that it plays well, but like, anything else to come back to? Is there any reason why I should come back to your map? And with how expensive games are, yeah, you 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 need to remember, I am in Argentina, and the conversion rate from Argent Argentina to USD is not very friendly to us, so I'd rather not waste my money in something I'm like, oh, I'll play it once and that's it. If I buy a game, it's because eventually I want to replay it. Either that or put a lot of time into it, like, the first time. And I don't see it, like, with zombies in Cold War and Vanguard, I didn't see that replay value as I did with all the other BO. Zombies, yo, I guess, yeah, Black Ops. With all the other zombies modes you've seen throughout this video, and you will continue to see because we're not done. I didn't see it. I, and I, no, not to be like, oh, you like Cold War, you're a dick. No, I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Maybe if I play them, I will see it, but from what I've seen, I didn't see myself engaged enough. Was my regular animation out, or was I tripping balls? Because I happened to look away, I didn't see the ray. Did they all die? Oh yes, Wunderbuff! Yes! Yes, the Wunderbuff! So good! God, I love this stupid thing. Oh, that missed me! Holy shit! I will not use the anywhere but here. If I die, I die. Like, I I'm not that into surviving. I'm not that desperate, you know? Go chase him! I don't know where I threw it, but go chase him. Does this even work? Probably not. Oh shit, that's a lot of you. And 
we're Gucci, we're doing great, although I am running out of ammo. I assume a Hellhound round has to show up, right? Well, that's a bit of a problem. Oh yes, I killed one of them with a physical grenade, let's go. I like that with things that you can hit them with a grenade and they die. Please go, Mr. Monkey. Hey, hey, hey! That looks way longer than I thought it did. Well, there goes the giant. A good, a very good rendition of the Reese. A very, very good rendition of the Reese. Beautiful stuff. Now we go back into the massive maps. <laughs> Welcome to the Reisendrache. Oh, nice hands. So, this is... Probably one of my favorite maps ever. And I didn't grow up on BO3 and whatnot. I did not. Um, new set of couple cones. Not as broken. A bit more chill. One of them kind of is kind of broken. Um, but yeah, one of really. This is one of those maps that I was like, oh, I really like this map. Like, first try. Like, Mova and Origins, for example, even though I like them more, it took me. It took me more time like learn them and then I, I like really like them. This one I was like, oh I get it. Like first try, I got it. F first try I got almost all of it. Like not the 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 upgrade process, I didn't exactly get it for the bows, which we will get into. But this is one of the few maps I actually did Acer on. I like the map that much. I even did Acer on it. I need to gather a lot more money than I thought. Now I realize it. I'm gonna have to. The bows might take a little bit longer than it usually takes me. I just realized I played a lot of this map far more with extra money than I noticed. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, not not all the gobble guns I showed or will continue to show were on launch. Like they were kept adding more as uh, DLC went on. The thing is. I just feel like these maps were designed for gobble gums because there are a lot of doors that are relatively expensive. So it's like either you progress through the map very late or you pay money. That's where I think it hinders a little bit of the map design. Either the, the maps got too big. The like Origins is also huge, but it got too big. It takes a bit too long. I don't know. Maybe it's just me coping, but I don't know. Oh yeah, they're back. Of course. Please be done quickly, little guy. Oh. Please be done quickly. I need you to. Come on, dude. Help a homie out. It also helps to, like make points, but like I want the arrow on the bow. Ole, CBO3 mechanics, dude. You can just run past them for no reason. Done, done. Got it. What the fuck? Hey! Oh, here we go. Let's go, baby. Welcome to the Wrath of the Ancients. Beautiful stuff all around. Uh, that's not it. I think that's like Fortress 3. As of all, those of you wondering, I'm trying to start the... Uh, 
yeah, the, 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 the bow process. There you go. They, I'm, there are four bows you can do. Again, kind of like a mob, a mob slash origin sort of feel. That's four. I'm gonna go for the wolf bow because it's the one I know how to do. <laughs> I but yeah, I don't like moving pack a bunch. I think it's kind of whatever. Oh, you you keep moving all the parts. Ooh, I, I don't know. That's not cool. Thankfully, the map isn't that big, and it tells you where it is if you know the names of the different areas. Which I wish this game did what BO4 did. BO4 has like the name of each area on the top corner. I wish this game did that too. I get why BO4 did it because the fucking game's obsessed with the names of the areas and check every area and hold square or F or whatever. This game kind of does it too. That's why I wish uh, you had the names. But for this map, it's not exactly a problem. This map is relatively small. Oh, We're starting. I'm getting one of the Ragnarok cards, I promise this makes sense. Ow. I may have to hold on. I, I might hold, might have to hold on the uh, wolf bow. I think I won't get it before. Uh... Oh, I got it! Thank God! I thought I was just teleporting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get the wolf bow before. See, there you go, pack a punch. Yeah, this won't go well. I don't have quick revive. I don't know why he didn't buy it. Okay, this might go well then. Oh, hello! Yeah. Oh, that went well. That one better than I thought it would. Now the next problem is I won't have a max ammo. I don't need to kill them with a bow and arrow, but honestly, my best choice right now. This little guy. Please help. Doesn't the Panzer drop a Ragnarok card? I, I thought he dropped a Ragnarok card, not gonna lie. Because it's like the trap, and then it's the Panzer. Right? He didn't drop a card. Or am I crazy? Maybe I didn't see it. Here I thought building the Ragnar will be easier than the shield. Oh, 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 oh. Please give me a max ammo soon. Yeah, this is a problem. I know where he's going next, so I'm gonna spin the box. If I am destined to wield a rifle, then a rifle I will wield. He vanished, that's fine. I don't care. I don't need him. Like I can just spawn him there. I know where he is. Where he where he's going actually. Now that I'm actually here, holy shit, how did I go all this way? <laughs> didn't even notice. See, he goes to shot. Okay, 
good. Oh, the gravity's gone. Fuck. <laughs> Once, game, help me. Once. I need to shoot it up, up there, but I need the gravity to be off. Please activate again. I beg of you. Ah. Mechanical monster returns to haunt us once more. Yep. Oh, there it is. That's the part. Yeah, Idol Eyes definitely carried me, I know. I'm sorry. I was in a bad mood. Okay, so the Panzer is RNG as well. What the fuck? Why? Again, see these things, they're they're like obsessed with RNG in these bigger maps, dude. For no reason at all. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We're getting it. I mean that shit now. Thank you. Now I feel like I have enough zombies to do this. Yeah, obviously they put the soul boxes you have to do in like the tiniest of places, dude. And it's transforming into the wolf bow. Please give it to me. There you go. We got the wolf bow. We're gonna be using it in the next round. For now, allow me. Where, where's, where's the uh, the trap? Allow me to build the Ragnarok DG. Four? Three? Four? I don't know. I hope their death proves to be at least somewhat dramatic. Well, this part has to be somewhere. Don't remember exactly where it goes. I think it's either one of these three things. Yeah, check the shit out, okay? There you go. First try. This is mine. It has to be. Isn't this so sick? I love the wolf ball. Like the other ones are cool, but I just like the. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this time we'll actually get the specialist. Holy shit! Yeah, fuck you, shadows. Yeah, see, this is far easier than the shadows one. I think that's what they were going for. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey! You're getting too happy on my shield. Now, if you're familiar with BO3 multiplayer or Black Ops 4, you know what the Ragnaroks do. But if not, if I get to Titan Squad, I'll show you. Oh, time to show you. Well, I didn't get to show you. That sucks. So there are many ways to use the Ragnaroks. You can plant them, you can actually use the Shockwave, allow me. See, there you go. Uh, I think I have a quiet time now. Yeah. Give me the strength to do what must I'm gonna go get Speed Cola. I care more about Speed Cola and Double Tap at this point because Double Tap does not affect Wonder Weapons. And I know you're not reloading the bow. Just in case I'm gonna get it. Next stop it is double tap. Next up, I like having my bullets, my bullet weapons be useful in some way, shape, or form. Now, this is not all of what you can do in the E. There is a lot more, like the weird toilet thingy, the plumber thingy. But we're not gonna do that. I know it's not really supposed to be very difficult, as far as I know, but whatever. See? Look at this beauty of a beast, dude. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. One of you is gonna help me now. Yeah. 
training there, maybe not. Oh, hello, dogs. Fuck, I forgot they came out in like regular ass rounds. Might as well give it another try. Selective about what I put in my mouth. I feel like Nolan North had to have a blast placing this character, right? Like he was probably having a very jolly good old time doing that. As far as I know, I don't know, maybe there are stories of him being treated like shit, I don't know. But he sounds like he had a lot of fun. Hello, mule kick. Go fuck yourself. I'll just sit here on my electrical nuke. I'm sorry if any of you don't like flashing lights. I'll put a warning just in case. Your legs blow up, dude. Don't you like being turned? Like you just blow up in. Ter Holy shit! Oh, hello. I feel like the possibility of turning out zombie is very high. Like I, I think it apparently it resets with every round. Like testing, <laughs> testing right now. Oh yeah, I could have used the transfuse to get a max ammo, maybe. Like it randomizes the power up you get, but I could have gotten one. Like, let's see. Is Maxis's voice in every single of these fucking facilities? Did he really like being the boss that much? Well, usually just usually you can like wait for it to turn into one. But if you're good enough, you can like run through the exact one you want. Ultimately, I didn't care which one I wanted. Wow, Alchemical's really good with Wonder Weapons. Holy shit, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, this guy was almost made for Wonder Weapons. Holy fuck. I got like 10 bow bullets and I only have like all of them. Yeah, so each 10 points means a bullet. With Wonder Weapons, that makes sense because you kill a lot of zombies at once. You get a lot of bullets back. Yeah, I'm not getting points, but who cares? Yeah, with bullet guns, it doesn't make as much sense. Oh boy. I'm still getting my bullets. But oh boy. Hello. Bye. Oh, that was the E. It's honestly one of the most fun maps in the world, dude. Shima. I'm already in pain. <laughs> Like, I'll, I like the aesthetic of this map quite a lot. That's about it. No, I, 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 I don't have the worst time in the world, but it's definitely not one that I'll rather play for a long time. Yeah, we're pulling the big boys on this one. Like, again, not the bestest, bestest in the world. I save those for Easter eggs if I ever want to learn them. But you can see a few of them already. I already started to pull like bigger boys, like boys that allow me to skip the entire setup process in a map. That's because setting up in Setsubonoshima is a pain in the ass, and it feels like it never ends. Oh, I want to get perks. No, you have to open 80 doors. Oh, I want to pack a punch. No, you have to build it. Oh, I want to get the wonder weapon. Yeah, build it and build it again. 
Hey, 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 hey. For an evil that must be a science to Oh, there you go. This is the big boy. You probably all know. You probably know this big boy. Look at that shit. I got all the perks for no fucking reason. I wanted to showcase this big boy at least once. Like, I had to show it at least one time. So now I need to get to the other lab across the map and what are the other buckets. The problem is there are doors in the way. I don't think I have the money to get there. Yeah, I might be screwed here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come back. Definitely. Yep. I'm already stopped. Well. Yeah, without like any like money, uh, money double gums, this map is medium and a half. This won't stay there forever. I'll have to come back and. I know this was poor decision on my end, but I wanted to test opening the rest of the map, you know? If we move swiftly, we can attack while they are How much can I progress? I think there's a door here. Yeah. There sure is a door. They sure like doors in this game, dude. I get it, the, the bigger the maps get, the more doors you have to put, but like fuck you. <laughs> The only reason why I know the shield parts on this map is because I was learning the easter egg. Because I knew I wasn't that far off, I was like, I might as well do it. And you need the shield for the easter egg, surprisingly. Let's keep knifing, see what I find. go throughout we come like a punch we find the items we need to defeat our adversaries hey okay, punch is open and now let's go get the baby boy the kd 40 boy where where, where, where which table is it there we go KT4, my beloved. Fucking poison, my not beloved. So if you miss the uh, liquefier, here you go. This gun's for you. This is basically a liquefier again. Now, I don't know if I want to get Masamune, because that one's a pain and a half to get. That one... That one's a bit more tricky. Not that bad, but I need to build a specialist weapon, which I guess we could try and do for the sake of it, because honestly, that is a pretty cool specialist weapon. It's very unique. I don't think it was taken from, like, multiplayer. I don't see how you take this specialist from multiplayer exactly. But I'll say I prefer this. I don't know. I think the Ragnaroks are pretty cool. I don't know which one I prefer. Like, from a... Originality point of view, yeah, this. But as a whole, probably just the Ragnaroks because I think they're cooler. I'll just like them. Magical gun. Damn it. Try use this gun a little bit because this gun is in fact exclusive to Setsu no Shina. And I don't say that in a sarcastic way, I actually think that's nice. I like having exclusive uh, guns per map. Again, like I said earlier, it gives me a reason to play the fucking map. Oh, I actually might be in trouble. Thank god for Widow's Wine. Sure, it can be 
achieved by all. I don't remember where all these sign ships are. I, I, I don't know this map as a whole. I don't remember every single detail of this map. That's the thing, I feel like this map is too complicated. Like again, once you're set up, you're pretty much good to go, but the problem is the setup takes quite some time. Just be around here. The shield part is somewhere here, I probably missed it. Not Everything is important. Even this. I hear a thrasher! God damn it! Yeah, again, they spawn way too frequently. Really? Jeez, I always get lost in these bunkers, to be completely honest. I get so lost in the bunker. Though there are many roads, each of us must walk our own path. I guess I wanna pocket punch the weapon that's exclusive to the map. My I know that counts for the wonder weapon too, ahead. but fuck the wonder it's weapon. Fitting that I am appropriately armed. Okay, I know where the this call goes, I know where it goes. Too bad I pocket punch. <laughs> No, shopping free will be nice right now. Do you have anything for? I guess. I believe this candy will bless me with supernatural abilities. It would be more honorable to dispatch them one at a time. But this is a dishonorable battle. Well, we're gonna be camping out here for a little bit, and this- Oh, hello! Holy shit, you almost not done talking, dude. Respect when I'm talking, please. Respect the streamer. <laughs> please, I'm a content creator. Please respect me. Thank you. Become content. You're, you're here to become content, zombie, okay? You made enough content of me in World of War. They shouldn't be able to touch the skull if it's surrounded by weird shit, right? Honestly, I like the effect of the KD4. I would say that. Takio, shut the fuck up. Like, I get it. This is Takio's map. It's his turn to be depressive as fuck. Shut the no disrespect to the voice actor, I think the voice actors are really good. But man, I swear some of you deserve to be muted for a little bit. upon this world Russia really oh well, yeah sets of onoshima moment is this still still alive I think it is This is a problem. 
Well, thank you, Poison. Oh, I'm alive. Not for long. Yeah, not for long. Well, that was Setsubo no Shima. Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> I hate that poison. I know there's a gas mask, ma ga -ga -ga, gas mask for it, but that just sucks, dude. Welcome to Gorod Grovy. Another one of those maps that first time I played it I was like, yeah, this click. This absolutely click. Curse you, Litoven. This is honestly I would say one of the simpler uh zombies maps in BO3. I will I would honestly put it closer to the giant than all the other shit we've been playing so far. It feels like uh modern there is. Like if the giant was the Rees, obviously. This is a modern the Rees, in my opinion. Like, um, it's not super complicated. It's tough. I'll say it's a very tough map. There's a lot of shit they throw your way. Um, but in in a way, it's balanced. Like all that shit they throw at you, it's balanced in some way. Pigs, I've just opened my new slaughterhouse. Let's see, can I? Can I get 500 points real quick? Let's see. Jugs right in the beginning of the map, surprisingly. Very surprisingly, if I do say so myself. This map isn't exactly big. I feel like the size of this map is actually pretty good. I would say this is one of those maps you can probably just hop in and play. One of the rare instances of PO3 where you can just do that. Not super easy, I will admit. It's not super easy. But you can indeed do that. This in your realm of possibility to do so. Now, Nikolai is ready to go. Again, I, like DE, I feel like this map makes this being super complex. Well, the, the, sorry, the super complex style of BO3 and BO4. With the simpler style we see with like BO1 and some of BO2. Some of BO2 can be very complicated, like Origins and honestly Transit. I think Transit is very complicated. In the meantime. Yeah, so the shield's more important in this map, um, mainly because there's a dragon flying around throwing fire, and the, your way to be protected from that fire is with a shield. I think that's it. I don't think there's another reason as to why you want the shield. Well, it's out of obvious protection, right? But this shield also spits fire, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Add any fire properties to anything, and I will say it's pretty cool. When, whenever it's fire or ice, I'm a big sucker for that. That's why I actually really like Call of the Dead. I'm kind of disappointed I do so poorly in that map consistently. That map's tough, dude. Got it, dude. Yeah, so you have to protect the little module that shows up, so you can get them one of the parts that we are gonna need for pack a punch So, I think the whole map is open. That means I can go drink double tap. <laughs> as far as I know, the whole map's open. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. That probably means I can get rid of soda. I guess I could chase Bunda Fisa and get Widows. But getting Widows also means getting new gear. And I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want all that. Might as well roll. I do not believe we we'll roll for the PBSH. Its gum has flavors. This gum is not suitable for children. It could make them hyperactive or annoying. Oh, I didn't get them all. I was too quick on the draw. Is it true that this 
spirals bullets from people. I think maybe someone was Oh, there you go. Perfect. Hello, baby. I believe it PPSH. I love this gun, dude. Like on World of War, I love it even more. But it's good to have it here. So fun. I'm really hoping for no now I need to wait on another cylinder. Shows up by killing these bitches. There you go. Supply depot. Uh, this way. Yeah, honestly. I know all of this probably sounds complicated to someone that has no idea, and not gonna lie, it was complicated for me too at first, but this map is definitely one of the ones that clicked with me the fastest out of any of these maps in BO3. Like DE and this, I think DE clicked easier, because I could get the bows easier, but this was right there, clicking uh, right next to it. So I get down there though. <laughs> Yeah, this shit is just far easier with the Mark III, dude. Like, the Mark III isn't, like, the best Wonder Weapon, even if it looks like it. Like, honestly, if you're making a black hole to me, you look like the best Wonder Weapon, but it's not. Like, it actually, like, the higher the rounds get, the less damage it does. And eventually, this black hole thing is not as useful. What the fuck is this? Is it up there? Oh, hello! Where the fuck is this, he says. He was getting the windows destroyed right in front of him. Also, you have a mounted MG42 if you want to use it. It is cool to use it, it's not that useful, but it's cool to use it. That's the thing I like about zombies. I like it when something is cool. Obviously, if it's useful, the better, but like, if it isn't, I like it anyway. I think zombies should be cool, not balanced or OP or whatever. If it's cool, it's cool. And I like the wacky side of zombies, including this. I think it's as good as time as any to grab the max ammo. We are not dead dead, holy shit, there you go. Yep, yeah, now the big boy. I think they're coming from everywhere now. They sure are. Oh, Valkyries, hello. I might need to be a... If I was trigger happy with the Mark III before, I think now is the perfect time to be super trigger happy with Mark III. I do also have in plain sight, so I feel like I can get away with this. Okay, okay, fine, fine, I got it. It's just you. Look, I'd be easy to kill you had I known. I wish there was like a... I, I get... I get... It probably is for like tension, right? Like, oh my god, how much do I have to survive? But I would like a timer. Maybe that will make it too easy. I think... I actually like this tension of... Oh my god, how long? Probably not that far. There should be like a zombie... Some oh, there we go. He's like a truck, dude, I forget. Got him. And there we go. Stay here for a little bit, I wanna pack. Uh, but the other surprise is... Ooh, there you go. I should... There you go. Stand back so I can better enjoy fire. 
this boy, this little guy is gonna grow. And he's gonna do great, wonderful things when he grows up eventually. He's gonna be great. We're gonna love this little guy. I feel like I can get a little guy, right? Like, I don't see myself dying. I don't know. May maybe I get bamboozled randomly, but I don't know. I think I'm good. Especially if I have self-medication. <laughs> I can revive myself like four times now. Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, so basically you got a airstrike. If you play multiplayer, you basically got like... Yeah, airstorm me is one of those things. Well, here they come. These, honestly, I fear more than the Manglers. The uh, Valkyrie drones, they're way more annoying than the Mangler. Where did you go? Who the hell is he? Oh, there you go. Yeah, the thing is, they can get in like really awkward places. So sometimes you just don't see these pieces of shit. I would like some helping dragon. Yeah, now I think about it twice. I'm not sure if staying here is a good idea. Because, like, I don't. I can just come back, right? I need points. Back the Mark III. I can just come back. Yeah, I'll come back later. I'll make progress on the little guy. I want to show little guy to the world. There we go. Um, little guy goes here. And now we wait for a dragon. Oh boy. Dragon, 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 dragon. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Help me, thank you. Uh. Fine. I'm good. We're alive. I think I need the dragon egg master. Yeah, of course. Because of course it has to. No way in hell let you do things instantly. Check my upgrade on the PBSH fireworks. And I guess that's nice. I think we got all of them. No, we're missing two. Because we did get dead wire, but I don't know if the marshals actually activated that wire. We got turned, of course, we saw it in the E. And we did get fireworks in shadows. We're missing two. There's like blast furnace, which is basically fireworks, it's just fire. And Thunderwall, which acts like a thunder gun, but it's surprisingly, it's not that good. You think if it acts like a mini thunder gun, it should be better, but it kind of doesn't. It's not that good. It's kind of underwhelming. I don't know why. You should have made sure I was dead. Are you done? Done. Thank you. Uh, now. You think I have this here? Kill napalm zombies. Okay, I need to wait for them to get on fire. Heal them. So I need another dragon. I love the light show of the Mark III, I will say. I do indeed love the light show. Fuck, stop killing, stop killing. Need to kill them. 
reveal as many as I can, and then... Is that all of them? No. There we go. What's my shield doing? Relatively fine. Get penetrating skills. Okay, that's the tougher one. I remember at first I had no clue what this meant. It means use one bullet of something to kill many zombies. It's very confusing. Even then, I'm not 100% sure that's what it means. Like, I usually just go into, like, the pack a bunch room and use the MG42. Because apparently that works. I think it did count for uh, the penetrating kills. I don't think this goes in the incubator already, right? No, I'm missing something. There's a step here that I'm missing. I think the incubator is here. But it doesn't go here yet. I'm missing something. I think it's uh, not. I think it's napalm. No, dragons. I don't know. I'll go check. Doesn't take me too long to get to the dragon anyway. I just will check. I do have to come back here though for the little guy. I will say as as we move on the maps as well, like maybe it didn't seem that noticeable for like World at War Bio 1, but I feel like each Regardless of the quality of the maps, each Zombies game pushes the technology of the console they were in. But yeah, World of War, BO1 and BO2, they all share... Oh, get a melee kill. This sucks. Does this count as a melee kill? It does. Okay, good. You have done it there, but whatever. Nice. Let's go get a new shield while I'm at it. Um, I, I was saying sorry. <laughs> What, um, you notice how each Zombies game evolves the mode? Like you can tell from World of War, the, the basics, to BO1, it, it's a more refined version than they dare to do more like crazy shit. And then you got something like BO2 where they even did more crazy shit and they start to delve more gameplay wise into like building your own thing and building your, your wonder weapons and whatnot. Then... BO3 is like, yeah, these are West, dude. You get a lot of content. Sorry, I gotta kick up now. <laughs> you get a lot of shit to do. You get all this cool shit. Whether you want to do it or not, it's up to you. Where I do think BO3 a bit fumble is on the casual side. Like there, again, there are maps like this and the Giant and DE. But those are all either DLC or pre-order the game. Like, if you didn't do that eventually you had to pay more money for the game you got and trust that it was good that, that's my only gripe with bo3 that's a thing of the time of course nowadays it's like whatever but like back then it's like oh i didn't like shadows shadows is too complicated why should i trust the rising drag or gorar kruby and i totally get if i had been there i probably would have thought the same thing i don't know if i could grab all the time into learning this, especially because none of my friends had BO3. So it's like, what do I do? Learn it by myself? This sucks. Like, I love zombies thanks to my friends and cousin who got me into zombies, to be honest. But I love zombies so much because of them. I started to play zombies alone because I like it so much thanks to them. Without them, I wouldn't be playing zombies to this day. So it's like, Okay, do I play BO3 on my own? This sucks, no. That's why I think I know so much about BO2 zombies compared to this, because we all played it so much. We all played Mob, Town, Buried, Origins. Not Transit or Die Rise, we all hated those, but like... Yeah, that's why I know... That's why I know and obviously love so much of those maps. With BO3, I feel like it's more of like a, Oh, wow, look at all this cool shit you can do, but you have to learn all that cool shit. 
Which, in a way, it's earned. And on the other... Who do I share this with? Like, I feel like I need to get friends that like BO3 zombies to enjoy it more. I like it, but I could like it more if I played with more people. One, one time, there is a BO3 server, like Discord server, and I, and I got there and we did like the Goral Crow Easter Egg when I didn't know the map yet. Watching. And we had, I, I had a Some lot of fun. Of the problem is we're all focused on doing the Easter Egg and stuff like fucking around. I, know who you are. Good. I, I want to get someone to like high round and just fuck around, survive. I feel like that's when I connect with BO3 more. Dragon must pull. Pull these bitches. I think I'm getting too cocky with the PPSH. Let me pull the wonder weapon. Sometimes I just like shooting my bullet gun, even if it's not the most OP thing in the game. The PPSH in BO3 is still pretty good. In World of War, it was insanely good though. A lot of bullets, a lot of damage. Probably the best weapon in the game outside of like the ray gun. And, you know, Wonder Woman. Wonder Buff. Dude, how much do you have to pull? Holy shit. I know you're a dragon, but like, come on, dude. I like the little drawing here. Pretty cute. Well, I don't know if it's cute, but it's charming that they added it. I like, like, some of the BO3 maps do have, like, those drawings to help you around the map. Like, oh, hey, this goes here. Setsu actually has, like, a map every, like, area or so. That's honestly helpful. I, it helped me learn the map. Sadly, I don't enjoy it as much. It helped. The entirety of the universe is fractured and broken. Sometimes Look, you crowds hold more just than do what you need. need. Some degree. Oh my God! The lines are jumbling, Monty. Monty, you're not clear. Gonna fix it. Okay, give me a little guy advance. Oh, never mind. Yeah, the gauntlet is actually my favorite specialist. It's so cool. Yeah, fuck you, all of them and whatever the fuck. Allow me. Where, where are they? Hey, little guy. Hello. Look at this shit. And then you can also do this shit and he fights on his own while you got this. Yeah, you're super OP with this shit. I won't lie. But I do sure like it. Okay, now I will consider myself fully set up. I, comp I I was fine before, but now I'm like full full. Now I'm done with all the quests and shit, now I can survive. And the thing is, it was all very intuitive to do. I, I, I got it like a second try on the map. I was like, yeah, this makes sense. Okay, this makes sense. It's all very intuitive and honestly fun to do. I didn't find it tedious. I, I do find it tedious sometimes that I have to wait so many rounds. But other than that, it's really fine. Is it foolish to hope this gun will make me better man? Some flavors are so sour, they almost make cheeks implode. Where are they? What? Excuse you? What did you call me? Oh, hello! Holy shit! Oh, give me that shit. Yeah, so you can get these wings by traveling through the three different dragon posts we did and by getting the little guy and now I can travel for free to pack a punch without the dragon very instant actually 
Again, little things you can do that are actually rather helpful. Uh, this is some easter egg shit that I don't care about. One of these days I'll do the Gorod easter egg. Not today though, <laughs> far from today. Uh, there's also the Valkyrie drone mask, which I don't have yet. Like, there is a Mangler and Valkyrie mask that basically helps you be better against them, like more defensive. I think I can tag in fire with the wings, I'm not sure though. A little bit of death machine. See, like, as opposed to Setsubo, I feel cool in this map. Like, in Setsubo, I feel like I'm doing chores. Holy shit. Oh, hey. <laughs> I guess you weren't here yet. In, in, in Setsubo, I didn't feel cool doing all that. I feel like I was doing chores. Here, I did all of that because I actually wanted to do it. Like, I actually wanted all this shit. I, I wanted this. I wanted all this crap because it's cool to do so. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's simple. Holy fuck textures. It's simple to do. And it's not over. Well, what the fuck is going on with you? Yeah, this is more typical than I would like to admit. Oh my god. Look at, oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening here? What is... How does this happen in more than one game? This also happens on BO4. What? Oh my god, look at those arms! Oh my god, they're, they're, it's all gone! Let's go, little guy. He's so cool. Go fight, little guy. You got this. I'll, I'll punch at your side, little guy. I love him. I love him so much. With pleasure, honestly. I feel so cool in this map. Like, I don't feel... I feel overpowered, but... In a cool, earned way. I like said Setsubo, it's like, when you get all... I, I, not, I, I say Setsubo because it's the one we just did, not because, oh, fuck you, Setsubo. But in Setsubo, for example, it feels like, oh, finally I get to play the game. Now it's like, yeah, I'm cool. I felt cool doing all of this. I was doing cool shit while doing all of this. This was fun, and now my reward is very fun, and I get to survive some more. Yeah, I kind of cheated during the early round because I got extra credit and Soda Fountain, I get that. But I don't know, it was it was still fun. Like, the map itself, I mean. The map itself is really fun. I did cheat, but the map itself is very fun. I'm fine. I'm okay. Fuck you! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Pronto. Oh, hello. See? Why didn't I get that in other maps? When you have been useful. Yeah, honestly, for the run, I mean, Mark 3 is honestly a beast. Very good beast, if I do say so myself. Oh boy, I'm fine. God bless the shield. I don't think the zombie breath kills them, right? Like, you think it just... Explodes them, like makes them explode when they got in contact with you, right? Oh, hello, Mangler. Oh, 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 I didn't realize. Fuck. I was too busy on the Mangler, I didn't realize they were right behind me. The shield didn't help at all. Well, this might be a problem. 
I just realized I never had a... I never had a mule kick weapon, I just didn't care. Well... Fuck! I did too early. Well, one more map, and then we're done with PO3. We're not doing Zombies Chronicles, I'm sorry. I've been recording for quite some time now, dude. We're not doing Zombies Chronicles. Maybe some other time. Welcome to Revelations. Oh, wow, Pack a Punch's here. What the fuck do you want? Oh, you're very detailed on the inside. I never noticed that. Before my eyes, it is as the oh, fuck you. Welcome to Revelations. Final stop. And this final stop, if you like zombies, is quite a nostalgia trip. This area looks pretty uh, new. You'll see. You'll see. You will all. And it doesn't stop here, let me tell you that much. Like, some of the areas of the old map seem new, the way they connect. Oh, hello, Barak. Hello, Mob of the Dead. I honestly, I like how Barak and Mob connect. I will say that. I really like that all. I, li I, li I said I liked it. But in, in, in case someone wonders, I, I like talking about the maps when we're playing them, you know? Right now, this map is a big ass mashup of the things we used to have, so. Okay, let's go get double tap. Um. I'm trying to think. What other way should I be going? I think I know. I think I have to go through uh, the mob, like, cafeteria. I think I have to go through there. That takes me to more Varok slash the E slash Kino. Oh my god, I got meal kick. All the things I could have gotten. Though I am grateful for this elixir, Dr. Monty. Its taste could be improved. Yeah. Hello, the Rysendra. Yeah, they just took and made out like a map salad. They took it all and they were like, yeah, this makes sense. Like, I feel like they put the most iconic maps as well, because you got like the... Well, the most iconic, most loved, I would say, because you got the E, you got Origins, you get Mob, you get Kino, you get... You, you get... You'll see. You get the Rock. It's like, yeah, this... I don't know about the rock. Because I think the Reese was more loved than the rock, but they were like, no, the, we can't do the Reese, man. That's a bit too much. So that's why they probably did, um. That's why they probably did the rock. I would love to know why they picked each map. And of course, the one and only. The one and only. Nach der Antoten. It's right here. Right here, ladies and gents. Nah, they don't put in. The man himself. You guys are screaming too much, but I see none of you. What the fuck even are they? Are they spawning or. Oh, here they go. And Paco Punch is now accessible, but we will not go there because I have no fucking perks. There we go. You have speed cola back, that's neat. Uh, that's the house, so I could go get quick drive, see what I get. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. We're 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 so fucking back. We're so fucking back with our cheating gobble gums. Ooh, widows. Um, yeah, I'm missing a lot of shield parts. Whatever. With the blood pumping through my veins. Uh, 
I'm gonna head to Origins and wait for Double Tap. Well, now that I have a Jug, I feel like I could be doing the stone thing use. So, you can upgrade the Apothecon Servant in this map, like I mentioned in Shadows. This map allows you to do so. It makes this already broken weapon even more broken. If you could have that, I guess. Like, I don't know if it increases his damage. Because as far as I know, this is already infinite. If it does, let me know. If not, what the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, you do indeed can increase. You can pack a punch the most broken weapon in zombies already. Now the thing is, it's blue rocks against a blue moon. So it's not exactly the easiest thing to see. It wasn't the smartest choice. I'll be the first one to tell you, sometimes they do some really stupid shit. definitely has to be somewhere. I hate gameplay of looking at random rocks in the sky. I know I don't have to do it, but I really want to do it. That hit, okay, good. Now we're missing one, wherever that is. See, that's the problem. I don't know where the fuck it is. Um... Got the one in more Baroque Origins. I think I'm missing one. It has to be like hidden in the moon or something. I think it went in Baroque, but like, I didn't get the one in Baroque. You know what I mean? Like, I got one from Baroque. <laughs> this is so confusing. Uh, that's not Baroque. That's not Baroque. That means this has to be Varog. That's the E. What the fuck? Motherfucker, which one is Varog? That's the house. YOLO! Okay, this was Varog. Uh, one of them has to be here then. Oh, this is not good. Two hours later. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time now. <laughs> I'm good. Am I getting hit by something? Come on. I'm busy puck punching, okay? Thank you. Both of them have turned, that's a bit redundant. I want both with turn, that's very redundant. Yeah, I can be picky like that. Come on. Blast Furnace. We didn't see this one yet. So yeah, welcome to the inside of the Apothecon that ate Bucket Punch. This is very weird. But it's indeed a place where you can be. And you actually need to do some weird shit here. And like throw some Arnies for the Easter egg and whatnot. We don't care about the Easter eggs in this household. Um... D. Oh yeah, you get poop, of course, because how else does biology work? So yeah, now we're quote-unquote fully set up, because there are masks and challenges and little Arnie and the little Arnie upgrade that I personally do not care that much about. About masks, maybe. I assume that's the music, I don't know. I didn't pay attention. So yeah, Kino Dark Totin. With a teleporter and everything. For some reason, they changed the flags. You know what flag should be there. We saw it in BO1. Oh, wolf mask. So the wolf mask allows you, as you can see there, the purple stamina up. I got better running. You can do a lot of shit with the mask, like uh, more hit points, uh, more stamina, um, and all, all those sort of things. That's honestly pretty cool. Again, thing, little things to do that are not super complicated. Nice movie we got today, very interesting concept of the lore and whatever the fuck. We got Dark Souls with zombies, that's pretty cool. 
You got Michael Jackson zombie ass motherfuckers. Hey, 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 your turn. Go, go, go. Ah, yes, one zombie. Let me shoot my apothecary servant. I wish this teleporter was used outside of the easter egg. I would love to teleport randomly or whatever. That would be nice. Okay, now we actually get to play the video game. Now, that did feel like a chore because it was tough as fuck for me to find that. I don't have, like... My death perception sucks that I can't distinguish between a blue background and a blue rock. But other than that, um, I would say the map's pretty fun. Like, yeah, it's, it's all shit you already know. But I don't know, it's blended so well in a very bizarre way. Who's crying? What the fuck is happening? I don't know what this means for the door. Need to kill a zombie, otherwise self-medication didn't... Oh, self-medication didn't kink in. Fuck. Well, that was an accident. Now I need to get out of here. Uh, Widows is up here. I guess I could go get Widows at the very least. It's expensive as fuck. And I get it, but at the same time I don't. Oh boy, this might be a bad idea. Thank you. Thank you, turned. Oh fuck, he's getting sucked in. Thank you. Yeah, 4,000, like, it is expensive, but I think it's worth it. Again, I feel like this is one of the best perks ever made. Probably the best, maybe the best. Yeah, the only problem I have with, like, all the nostalgia shit... It feels very... Oh my god, hello. It feels very disconnected. Like, this jumping across different islands and shit doesn't exactly do it for me. I think it's a bit... Like, I feel like there's no layout. Like, oh, these two maps are here, these two maps are here, and these two maps are here. It's like... Okay? But they're, they're not connected, like... They're connected by jump paths. They, they feel like... They feel like four different survival maps, in a way. Like, oh, now I'm in Kino. They, uh, that's my only... Big gripe with it. Like, there's no... Coherency. No coherent layout. Like, yeah, obviously. If you run from Dragon Command to the left, you'll get to the Armory, and if you go to the right, you can either go either left or right to the Tank Factory. To the left, you go back to spawn. Like, that doesn't really exist here. It's like, oh, you have to go through Barocked or whatever, and then... New weapon available in the temple. Okay. That's pretty sick. I never got that. Oh, hello, Panzer Soldat. I forgot you were here. Can I please look at my weapon from the temple, please, before you inevitably do kill me? Hey, 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 you can get out of the... You can get out of that. Shit. Uh, the temple means Shang, right? I assume that's what at the temple means. It has to mean Shangri-La. I don't see how it could mean anything else. How do I get to Shang? Like, I knew it was like through here. Oh, here you go. What at the temple? Nightbreaker. What the fuck is this? Did I... Fucking. Oh, this is a one hit, but I traded a fucking Apothecary Servant for it. I thought it was a melee weapon. Like, it technically is a melee weapon, but I traded the Apothecary Servant. Oh, fucking kill me now, I guess. But it's not bad. It gets one shotting, but I won my Apothecary Servant. It's a pretty good cool weapon, though, I'll say that. I'm surprised I'm alive. Like, turn is probably saving me. But I'm surprised I'm alive. Well, goodbye, Apothecon. It was fun to upgrade you and use you for a little bit. It's a shit. I didn't even know this was a thing. What the hell is this thing? What, what is this a reference to, even? 
Like, I know you can get Takio's Katana if you do, like, the Easter egg and whatever. But what is this a reference to? What is the Nightcrawler? This, this looks like a multiplayer weapon they just coded into, like, more, like, ancient. Oh, that was Revelations! Oh my god, this was six hours long. <laughs> yeah, good luck at it in front. But yeah, that's BO3! Next time, it's BO4 and our final game, because I, again, don't have Cold War, don't have Vanguard, and I don't care. It seems like he wanted the economy to like the economy of the game to be more used. So the point system was changed, and I don't think that was a good idea. But whatever. Other than that, we we take those. Like I played. I, this is probably the summit game I played the least because I got into it fairly recently. Um. Through very uh, <coughs> legal means, of course, because we we love Activision Blizzard, don't we? Haha. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, it's interesting. N now I can finally play it, and maybe it's because I wasn't there. I know the game on launch was fairly like broken and it didn't work, but now I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely different, and I will not play this with friends if I can be honest. Like I wouldn't get them. Oh, let's play Voyage of Despair. I feel like this map is too complicated to play with people who have never played the game. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about it. yeah, so in create a class, right, you can pick a different weapon to start with, like different pistols, different grenade types. You're a specialist, which we get into. But you'll more importantly pick your perks. Like you won't see like six, seven perks around uh, the map. You'll just see these four that I have set up right there on my beautiful hut. Very, very beautiful. Definitely not cluttered at all. They definitely wanted you to have uh, they, they definitely wanted you to have more info than ever before, and I think that's the problem. There's too much info to take into account. Just a little bit more. Yeah, so this knife thing, I, you could unlock it, you just had to use the strife a lot, which is the starting weapon we're using right now. I guess that's not that bad, like it's not like, oh, super microtransaction heavy. It's actually just grind the game. The problem is you have to grind the game. <laughs> So this is basically turning on power, which I will say, this looks pretty cool. I like the whole Greek mythology things, uh, the chaos side of the maps have going for them. And to unlock pack a punch we need to do this four times. I think I remember where they are. I played this map like twice. It was recently, but it was twice. So I definitely didn't learn all of the map. Something I do like though, and they probably realized. I feel like this should have added, been added in BO3. Um, the little on the top of left, the, the name of the areas. I like that. Like I think that's actually very convenient. But I do feel like maybe BO3 should have had it too because they they are like, oh, you should go find this part of the Easter egg in area whatever the fuck. So I don't know. Maybe it should it could have been useful then. They, there too. I don't know. I will, I will definitely have gone more into Easter eggs if I had the areas here. I won't get into Easter eggs in BO4 either. But I can see how it's more helpful this way. Well, I assume it's more helpful. I don't know. Maybe it's some Easter egg speedrunners like, no, actually, this sucks. <laughs> I don't know. But see, look at this shit. This is so expensive. Oh no, it looks like I'm in. Oh, never mind. Well. Welcome to Specialist. This is what I wanted to talk about. So, Specialists are pretty much a pocket wonder weapon. Like, whenever you're in trouble, as long as you have the little cooldown there, you are good to go. Like, literally, you, you literally just cook them. Um, you can have diverse opinions on that. I sure do have my own. <laughs> I, I do like Specialists, like, using them. I like it, but I will admit the progression, you know, zero to hero and whatever, it is kind of cooked. <laughs> that, that's a bit of the main problem people talk about BO4 a lot. No. Yeah, stamina is probably the one perk I'm gonna keep having during our perk shuffle. If that, if that... Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, there are especially zombies, which is a cool idea, but like, 
I think they're gonna throw a little bit too many of you in this game. Like, oh, hello. What is the point of this area? There's probably some new circuit sharing again that I don't care about. I need a gun, dude. Like a proper gun. You know, you're not very nice today, Black Ops 4. Is it something I said? I mean, I have been saying some negative things, but I actually do still like the game. Like, I, I like the zombies I'm playing. Mainly the... Well, some of the Chaos maps are cool. Uh, Nine and Ancient Evil, we're gonna get into it. Um, but I do like the Ether maps, even if some of them are very controversial. I do like them. I like some more than others, obviously. But one of my favorite maps is actually in this game, so... I do like you, Black Ops 4. I will say, the sniper's very powerful. Surprisingly, like, I'm not used to snipers. Like, usually snipers are powerful, don't get me wrong, it's just... They don't usually do shit. Either that or my mouse and keyboard is getting wildly better. Fuck. I try I'm trying to quiz code, man. I I'm trying to be cool. Uh, the box is on the other side of the ship, of course. And I got a big tentacle man chasing me. Or whatever Blight Fathers are supposed to be. Are those any based on like mythology? Like, is a Blight Father an actual thing? I, I don't know much. I don't know much about history, so sorry if I offended someone. Hey, good. Please, please give me a gun. That's close enough to a good gun, actually. The monkeys in this version of the game. Does he actually attack Light Father? He looks like he's doing something. Oh god, die. You're not dead still? Holy fuck. There you go. Oh my god, he are not dead yet. Also, that dialogue queue came earlier than it should have. Because she was like, oh, did we pop the thing and we didn't yet? Please, I need a specialist. <laughs> well, dying wish. Thank you. Yeah, I have a sniper. This isn't good. It's not like I could get anything better. Yeah, I've been trying to. <laughs> this hasn't happened. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna kill every single one of you. Okay, we're gonna get one weapon in. Thank you. We're pocket punching a weapon. Ow. Okay, fuck it. Let's get the party started. Yeah, I remember my first time playing the map. Like, just like this. Just like we're, we're doing right now. I remember I got to, like, round 40. Because I actually had luck with the box. As opposed to this. Yeah. So, again, repack. So this is what we're doing in BO3, right? Like, you repack it once. It was the bestest version. But what is this? Repack and boost damage. Again, wow. Yeah, so... You're not done. You need to do it more. That's what I was talking about earlier. You are not done. And that's for one weapon. Did add cryo for you, so that's at least cool. Feels like I was just turned inside out. Okay, I need slider. I didn't get the Helion Salvo, which is why I even have slider in the first place, but... Um, I need slider so I can get the modifier. The modifier for the Winter's Whale is actually very good. So... Oh yeah, I have anywhere but here. I forgot this entire time. Is there any box around here? Yeah, there should be like a box down here. There you go. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, 
It sure was a problem. Well, that's Voyage of Despair, one of the maps of all time. It sure is. Like, my main problem is it's so tight, man. Like, I was in a few open areas, and that's fine. But so tight, so weird. Wait a minute. Where's everyone else? Did they Honestly, I know this is so different from, like, the zombies maps I like. I like the more creepy shit. Like, I, li I like my Dereses, my Mob of the Deads, my Origins. But I can't lie, I think this map is pretty sick. Like, look at this shit, this looks so cool. Honestly, I do think this looks pretty sick. Um, and the map layout itself is actually very understanding. It's basically like a um, bigger Shinonuma. Because these statues mean each of the four areas, kind of like how Shino does it. We have like the, the different four areas you could go and the perks will spawn there. This is pretty much the same. So you have four areas and then a big underground area that connects it all. For example, if I try to go this way, I cannot. So I have to go those two ways, then open up that way, and that's it. A pretty fun layout. It's not super tight, it's not super open. You, you have areas to train, you have areas to camp. It's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, there were the lions. Okay. <laughs> well, GG's. I, I forgot, not all the champions are the same. Where is the box? Holy shit. I don't see the light with the bright blue sky. I, that is some a bit of a problem. I don't see the box light with this bright of a sky. Like, I like how it looks, but I can't see shit. And I might have to go with a regular as weapon. Why are you even here? Why are you the special zombies here? Oh, the second I get my specialist, dude, you're all fucked. Or this. This helps. Where's the gong? Let's get... Let's get pack good to go. Get down here, bitch. And down you go. The beauty of... The beauty, the beauty of specialist weapons. Very balanced, very well done. <laughs> <laughs> do I have all of them? I do. Oh, there you go. It opened up. Nice. Okay, so the, this red light thing, why is it here? Oh, thank you! Oh my... Thank you! That's very nice of you guys. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, that's a mechanic in this game. Well, this map. Like, if the crowd likes you, they'll throw you good shit. And that was probably the best shit they could have thrown at me. Please, please, please. Good weapon. Fuck. I have enough PTSD of the Cap 40. Give me a good weapon, please. That's not it. That was not it, Chief. That's not the good weapon I need. So what's the red light? Anyway, yeah, it's still there. I mean, she has to be... Okay, I think it's as good as time as I need to go get pack. Finally, progression! Proper progression in your video games! See this? Setsubo no Shima. <laughs> to be fair, I did use Procaholic in Setsubo. I don't think that's the fairest of... <laughs> of <laughs> Did I see hold left for parts or am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't know where the parts are. Oh, here's the actual box. Okay. I don't know if I can get anything else, but no, uh, I'll 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 stick to the AN. I think that's good. Yeah, so here's where I will build the shield if I had the parts. See, now I'm actually playing a zombies map with progression and building points and progressing. Unlike Voyage, I was fetching for shit half the time. 
like that's the thing I don't like about BO3 and BO4. I I keep saying BO3, but Origins is kind of guilty of it too. Like I feel like or Origins I don't blame it as much anymore because I know what to do. Oh, I like this camo. Wow. But I I it, it, at some point zombies turn into like a huge mission fetch quest thing. Some maps are more tedious than others. My like origins, I feel like it's a bit much, but all that effort you put into it is very rewarding because you get the staffs and you get the elemental punch and whatever. In other maps, I feel like they nail the, the like the quests, but the reward is the, the part that's missing. Like in Voyage, if I had gone for all the parts to build the upgrade for the Kraken, the Kraken is not that good. Then. Setsubo, like, yeah, Masamune is cool. I, I, will, I will admit, the Masamune is one of the better wonder weapons, so that's fine. What other map am I thinking of? Well, Mob, I, I, I can see why some people would consider it tedious to build a plane. But the map itself is brilliant. I, I can see how some people might think it's a bit tedious to do it, but... I, in solo, it's less tedious, I feel. In multiplayer, I get how it can be tedious because you can only carry one uh, part at the, at, per, per player, and there are five parts and four players max. So I kind of get it, but the map is not that huge. It looks huge, but it's not that big, actually. So it's not that, that you have to, like, run around a lot. Okay, there we go. And then we- Oh, Blightfather, fuck. See, this is how I would normally deal with a Blightfather. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, this shit is easy as fuck. Do I- I don't want to strive now that I have this. Hey, earlier? Not now. Let's see, reject it. Which one's the temple? The temple's down here, right? Well, I have the names, yeah, I could just check. Uh, Danu Tower, Arbiturium, Danura Temple Entrance, Temple, there we go. Oh, next to Pack a Punch, how nice of you guys. I have done this before. I will do it again. Oh good, I can still run around. Oh fuck. That's not good. Oh, I still have Dying Wish. I haven't died yet, wow. Yeah, see that Voyage of Despair? Fuck you. I, I can survive. And I didn't even use the broken elixirs I have planned. You think I almost reset? Fuck no, dude. We're having fun! Ow. Oh, 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 oh! Fine, fine. Oh my god, there's so many of you! There is so many of them. Oh, that wasn't the first round, right? Now I have to actually deal with this. I got this, I got this, I got this. Where the fuck are you going, guys? I'm right here. There we go. Just down below. Run. Oh, I'm very hurt. Wow, I didn't even realize. Don't turn the fire trap on, please. Hel help, brain rot. Help. Uh, 
And down you will go. Please die. Thank you. Oh, he puked on the weapon that I don't care about. <laughs> stop. Oh, stop. Stop. I don't think I can do that. Like, I think there's too much shit going on for me to be able to stop them willingly. I did stop one somehow. I didn't even notice, but I think there's too much shit going on. See, that's the thing with PO4. Look at this. Round 28. As opposed to boys just 16. So this this probably this map is easy to be fair. It's easier than Voyage. But it's more it's this is a map that I will play with people. Absolutely. This is a map that I would actually play, like tell someone that hasn't played zombies in like since bo one. I'll tell them, hey, let's play nine. I, I think that's something I would actually do. Gladly. Because this is not a complicated map to understand. Oh no, stop actually meant like stop them from transforming because I killed a Shrieker or whatever and it did not give me the point. Okay, so I was right the first time. Oh hey, round 30, holy shit. No perks even, holy shit. You know what? Give me that shit. Yeah, this weapon sucks. It's also a weapon you can select from the start. But uh, yeah, it's not good. So let's use this so we can end the game. I don't want to quit. Oh, I'm running straight into the fire, huh? Oh, that's uh, not good. Can I kill the tiger? Could I theoretically kill the tiger? Answers no. Okay, holy shit, this weapon. I know, round 30, right? Oh! 15 shots. That's good. And goodbye. That's her. Wow! 20. Oh, it doesn't count. I got to round 30. That's right. This game doesn't count uh, in progress rounds. That sucks. Well, we saw it round 30. And I chose to die. <laughs> in case anyone wonders about my ability. But yeah. Um. Now we go to the Ether launch maps, which one of them is very controversial and the other one is kind of forgotten, kind of isn't, kind of loved. It really, the, the community is weird, dude. <laughs> Welcome to Blood of the Dead, a remake of my favorite map ever, Mob of the Dead. So... This is the one of the things of Black Ops 4 that people they were not very happy about. So as you can see, Alcatraz. But the thing is, all of the Ether maps were remakes of already existing maps. Obviously, this is Mob the Dead, uh, and it doesn't get any better. Like you don't get an original map, which is what people were expecting after BO3. All the original maps, let's say, went to chaos, which I, I get it, but I think they were trying to do too many things after the success of the BO3. I think they got either overly ambitious or cocky. You you'll see that the I got a shield elixir because the shield is pretty much crucial in this map. If I were doing the Easter egg, it's absolutely elemental. If you're not, it is kind of important still. Yeah, hi doggy, long time no see. It's like a game and a half long time no see. I'll say it's a very creepy and pretty environment at the same time, if that makes any sense. Like, it is disturbing to be here. Like, it's all fucked up, like a regular ass mob. I've seen some, like, PS4 footage. Like, the game definitely. I don't know if it's not optimized or whatever, but on PC, this, this game's graphics really do shine far more than on console. Very pretty. Like, one of the games that comes to mind first when I think of, oh, PC does uh, games prettier. Uh, it's this one. Like, absolutely. Oh. Well, that's not exactly what I want. I think I think this is a good as time as any to get moving. Good as time as any. 
Let us move. So we open the catwalk and zombies spawn right in front of us in this small minuscule hallway. Uh, this is probably, like, I get it, it's supposed to feel, like, super tense, but who, look how many of them are pouring in, just straight up pouring in. I don't think this is very fair to the player. I think if you don't have a specialist, you might not survive that section. And if you're down there, like, if you're playing co-op and you're down there, you're pretty much fucked up. Oh, so we're almost there. Welcome to Mob of the Dead! So this is the thing, right? Like, this is something people usually don't like um, about Blood. It's pretty much that you're playing Mob. Like, once you're here, this is pretty much Mob of the Dead. Something people usually don't like. I get it, but at the same time, it's like... I like Mob of the Dead, so I don't mind. But I get it, people were probably expecting like a new map, and they just get Mob of the Dead, but bigger. And Mob was already a medium to large map, I would say, so getting a bigger map than that... Th there is something that's too much, you know? Guys. Let me move. Let me move! Segundo. That should do it. All aboard. We're out of here. I don't even remember if this happened in mob when we were using the gondola, but I don't know why we're like so jittery on the gondola. I feel like they didn't code it, like the objects trying to fly away from the gondola or something. Feels a bit weird. Let's see, so I need one more dog and I know where he is. First things first, let me... Nothing creepy ever happened in this infirmary. I have I have the key, right? So that's usually where the plane part. Three thousand for cherry. What the fuck? No. It's just electric cherry. I wanted to have electric cherry for the sake of you know. Oh, we're playing Mob of the Dead again. So that means I could have electric cherry, the perk that was introduced. Blah blah blah. blah. So, no, this is so wrong. This is beyond fucked up. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, so this area was not in mob. This is the warden's house. Like, I assume the idea is he lives in the prison. So, obviously, you know, you can't get to Alcatraz very easily. So, they have a house for him here. And then he goes to his office and then the rest of the prison and whatnot. I think this area is a bit pointless, though. Like... Not big enough to like make any impact. Like that's the thing. That's like like a common criticism of blood. The areas it added are kind of pointless because they're so small. It's like, what's the point? But I think people were expecting this to change more, but I don't know if they would have liked it to change that much. I don't know. People are bipolar, <laughs> or they have obviously it's a big community. You'll have very diverse opinions. Obviously, that's what... of course. Okay, so the dogs are done, that means we can get uh worse the look this nice, should it? Again, teleporters, very appreciated. And this is how we get the good old the homie, the boy, the health retriever. Man, the problem is the Wraith fires are infinite damage and the health retriever is not. So I lost one of my better weapons right now. But we'll be using it. Deserves it. Okay, I need to start exploring a little bit of this jail because I'm missing the last part of the shield. And then I need to. Like, opening Bucket Punch is honestly not difficult. I just haven't explored enough to, like. There you go. We can build a shield. It's not hard to do at all. Honestly, I love that. I appreciate that it's not difficult to do. Excuse me. Yeah, so we need to do three of these things. So it's gonna need a little bit more. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. That's why I'm doing this this early. I'll rather do it now. Rather sooner than later, right? The thing is, zombies aren't coming by as quickly as one would like, but we take those. That's fine. I think 
that's done. Right. If it's done, I can grab the nuke and start doing the the, the other part of the upgrade. Honestly, I really like this upgrade. It's not really complicated. Run, I need to run. That's what we do, DMC. Okay, so we need to get to the spawn area, basically. And the idea is you need to run because it's cooling down, like DMC said. So the idea is if you run into these blue barrels of fire, you can actually, like, recharge your, like, time limit. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. We're running. Thank the Lord for coming up. Uh, we're running, we're running. We keep running. I think if you fire it, you can lose some of the cooldown. So I'll try to just run away with stamina up. That's why I have stamina up in like the the modifier. So I can run indefinitely. This is definitely broken, but it's very necessary. I'm not crying. I just got guts in my eyes. I just need to keep moving. I need to get the magma gut. We're we're getting there though. We're we're absolutely nailing it. Uh, so we're here. Okay, and done. Hey, Let's fucking go. So that's honestly, I like this more than the acid guy. The acid guy's pretty simple. Like the parts aren't that hard to get, but I like this upgrade process more. It's more, I guess, involved. And it's not difficult. It's just do it. Is that done? It is done. Okay, he. I love the katana. I love katana. <laughs> it's so broken. I love the katana. Thank god for time slip. Yeah, so this basically acts like a magma, like an acid god. Like a magma god. But yes. No, 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 no. Did he lock it up? Yes, he's a piece of shit, that's what he is. Oh yeah, I have the talisman. The worthless shit that makes Pack a Punch price slightly lower. Good. He can lock up Pack a Punch, what a dick. He couldn't do that in Mob. I didn't even realize he could lock up Pack a Punch. I guess that makes sense, but it's so stupid. But yeah, we got the Magnus Operandi, which is basically the Acid God, but better. It doesn't hurt you, for one. That's um, a huge plus. And I think that the, this thing is better. Like, it lasts for longer, I think. It seems like it's lasting longer. Like, even if it's not attracting them, it keeps burning them. Which is pretty good. And then, which takes fucking forever. Hello, new like, I get it. I, I get why. That's fine. But it takes forever. What's the matter, boy? Yeah, so this is the thing I thought that happened in Mob. I thought this was also opening Mob. It's not, it's just in blood. Thank you. <laughs> Makes it more comfortable to play. Oh, brain rot, go! Go, 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 boy, go! Help, boy. Oh, well, that's a problem. Oh, I'm not living this yet. Dying wish, thank you. This is a problem. This, this is a plot fuck corner place. Let me. What's my level 3? I don't remember. Oh, it's a zombie blood. Oh, that's broken as fuck. It does get rid of it once you. Uh... Okay. There we go. A little bit of this. Me, me, this is like a like a slower nuke. Does that make any sense? Like a, you know how like you have like blue shell 
like in Mario Kart and whatnot. They have like the different up power ups that sometimes they feel like, oh, this is just a lesser X. That's what the specialists feel like, like a lesser nuke. Because you have to do the work, but the work is gonna get done anyway. Oh, yeah, I did the upgrade for the shield. I died in the process, but I did it. So now I can have four souls instead of two. Oh, hello, Baka Punch. Uh, let's see if I can get a good gun. Oh, yes, dude. Hades. I like the Hades. I don't know why it has a snake there, but I like the Hades. Let's see. I'll take this opportunity to do this now. That shit had better be downright biblical. Please help me. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, I don't have... Well, GG's. I didn't get to use it that much, but GG's. Well, that was Blood of the Dead. Now we have one more launch map, and then we can get into the DLC, and then this video will be done. I'll have to edit it, and that's gonna take a while. I've been playing these games for like three weeks at this point. I did take a little bit of a pause because I didn't have the time. It, 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 this, each map takes like one to two hours. M mainly BO2, BO3, and BO4. Like, World of War and BO1, they definitely did not take two hours. But the further we go into the games, like I said at the beginning, the longer these sections will get. Because there's more to do, there are larger maps, they're, they take longer to set up. Sorry, I need to fill the void of Black Ops 4 taking fucking forever to load up. Man, I love this intro so much. If you never watched this intro, uh, honestly, go look it up on YouTube. Look up, like, Black Ops 4 classified, like, intro. It's one of the most unique and honestly one of the best. I love it. Sadly, I have to skip it. So, yeah. Welcome. Well, we'll load. It takes a little white to load for some reason. That's just Black Ops 4, dude. No other map takes this. No, no other game takes this long. I don't know why this game takes so long to load. It, I don't know. I feel like it never was fully optimized because this game on launch. If you haven't seen what Black Ops 4 was as soon as it launched, please do. There we go! Welcome to Classified! <laughs> so, Classified is the 5 remake. And I love 5. I love 5. We talked about it during the 5 portion. So, you might think, oh, I love Classified. I, I like it more than 5. Like, honestly, Classified is one of my favorite maps ever. I don't know what it has. Like, I think it's just because it's such a chill experience. Like, yeah, 5 was tough as fuck. I think they made the 5 easier, the teleporter is less of a nuisance. And they gave you, like, more choices. And the Winter Howl is relatively better. I think that was it. Like, Classified is honestly one of my top 5 favorite maps. I love Classified. It's very simple. But again, I'm a simple man. I can't wait for the tier list. I wanna do that tier list so bad. Classified is definitely the Black Ops 4 map I played the most. I have not fully learned where everything is. Because there is so much in this game. But I think I know where most of things are. I think. I know I at least I know the general area. Then I need to start like hugging walls. Oh it's 84 bullets on the map. What the Fuck, why? Oh yeah, and we are the ultimate crew, like, we are the B World at War BO1 crew, rather than JFK and whatever. You can either take it or leave it. I like this crew, so I don't really mind that much. I can see why some would. Uh, I, I Obviously, I, I think I prefer the FI crew because, you know, you're playing as political figures in this fucking chaotic mess. But I think that's pretty funny. 
But other than that, I I like this crew. If, if you had to choose a different crew for five, thank god they went for this route. Let me get super power. Let me, let me, let me. Fuck, I was drinking. Shit. I was not expecting it to be so soon. Um. Where's power? Power, power, power. Here you go. So just like five. And look, the teleporters actually tell you where you go. We love that they did that. Is this quick revive? It is. So why did I why do I have emulation and bonfire cell here? Well, bonfire cell is because it's the power up that's exclusive to five. You can actually earn it. You need to do like a little Easter egg first, and you can start earning it. And emulation is because I don't like being underground, so I'll rather um, just pop the emulation. I don't know where Luna is, but I will be needing her real quick. Defcon uh, 3. Where's Defcon 4? It's right around here. Look at how fast I'm going, dude, with all my perks now. Let me speed. Feels inhuman to be playing a BO1 map with this level of speed. So, just like 5, we get into the secret president room. But. That's not Baka Punch, that's a teleporter. What the fuck? So now we need to go down there. We need to go down and build the thing. Oh, I forgot dogs actually spawn. Fuck! No, you piece of shit, you filth! I forgot dog spawn, I would have waited more. Okay, time to drink all my shit again. Uh, excuse me. See ya. Let's go get the shield. I do like the shield in this map. It's not complicated to build, I just didn't know what I was looking for. Now that I do know. I don't know why I thought I was looking for the gun. Like I, the thing is, nothing in the part list looks like a gun, so I was like, yeah, we have to be missing the gun. Oh, now you trigger Luna? All this time, I wish there was a button to trigger Luna yourself. I, I wish there was a button for you to trigger trigger her yourself, because like all this time Luna would have been very useful, but just now the game was like, yeah, you can use Luna. I think I fucked up. <laughs> I, I think I was too early. Yep. No, I didn't know there was a double point, I would have waited. Thank you, Luna. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm uh, missing one Defcon, it's right here. Now, observe. If we're not going to the present room, where are we going? Why, back to the moon, of course. Welcome to moon spawn location. I assume most of you remember this. And we're fully set up in Classify, now we can actually just have fun. It's funny how I did the most progress in both 5 and Classified. Hey, yeah, in Classified I kinda cheated, I have Bonfire Sale and Fire Sale itself and extra credit and all that. But I made the progress, you know? No, oh, fuck no. Please leave. 
I wish time sleep also made the guns live quicker. Like, if you don't grab it in like five seconds, it just. I don't know, five seconds. Because you could be running around. Yeah, never mind. My, my, my suggestion is kind of dumb. I wish it gave you like a, like a press, I don't know, E to reject. Because I know in co op you can give your weapon to other people. Like, you can press E and reject it and it gives it to a different player. Uh, I wish you could do that in single player. Like, just outright reject it. Maybe that's too OP. But I would like it, I don't know. But like this game is very balanced. I'm a doctor. I'm well known for my patients. And yeah, you can fuck a bunch of it multiple times. No, not patients. Patients. The the thing is, um with Luna, like I'm looking at the, the recharge time. It's kind of like Dying Wish where you have to wait to use it again. The problem is I think Dying Wish is far better than anything Luna can do. It's like Dying Wish, it saves you, and you're basically in invincible for a little while. Luna, like, yeah, attacks zombies, but well, that's kind of what Brain Rot does. Oh, hey, Samantha. I like that she talks to you more in this map. Because that doesn't happen in BO1. I, I like that. Uh, when BO2 hit me with the Richthofen quotes, like I was in transit and grabbed a power and he was like, Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. I like that. I, I like the little, little o overpowered god, whatever, controlling the zombies talking to me more. I think that's cool. As long as I like the character. Because if it's some annoying ass character I don't give a shit about, yeah, but Sam and Eddie are like dead dynamic. So I'm happy I'm also Richthofen in this situation. Like. If it were like Samantha talking to like Akio or whatever, I don't give a shit, but it's Samantha and Richthofen. It's like, yeah, they're kind of important. I like it when Zombies map allows, allows you to do this. You get a fire so you can spin to different places. I, I like that you can do this. And I hate when no, no box gives you an actual useful gun. Like, yeah, I have a fully upgraded gun. Well, two of them. But I wouldn't mind having another gun. Go, Luna! Go kill the kill the hellhounds, Luna! Go, Luna, go! I would say Luna's pretty good in the sense of they stay out for a, quite a while, but they do take a, quite a while to come back. But they kill only one zombie at a time, if I'm not mistaken, so it's not that good. But still pretty good. Yeah, see, look, look how long she's staying out here. She's decent. Like, she's not bad. She's decent. Would I rather have Dying Wish right now? Yes. But we're experimenting. We're not getting to 150 for the Easter egg cutscene that no one cared about. That's the Easter egg in this map, by the way. There are no Easter egg steps. It's just a survival Easter egg, which I like. Honestly, it's an Easter egg I could get to. If I wanted to. And I wanted to spend like 10 hours. Oh, I got that. We'll, we'll get you close to the moon, Edward. Mine hands were not designed for manual labor, but labor they must. Yeah, see, this is why the Helion is the best gun in the game. Look at this. One rocket kills so many of them. Even if I don't have PhD, this is pretty good. Well, it was pretty good. And that was classified. We'll never see five ever again in this video. Time for the DLC with Death of the Night. Welcome to Dead of the Night. One of the most hated, forgotten, but interesting maps ever made for zombies. Now... You might see, uh, I'm a bit perked up with elixirs, and we're going to be using the Black Ops 4 exclusive bot mechanic. They allow you to play with bots, so I wanted to test it out in one of these maps at the very least, and I thought this would be very funny to do it in this one. This map has the Baroque mechanic, where some of them spawn on the other side and some of us here. Now, I think it's funny, don't mind me, I'm just powering up to the fullest. So. This map, why do I say forgotten? Um, it had no marketing, and I literally do mean no marketing whatsoever. 
It's also one of the most hated maps because of layout, easter egg, map design, enemy design. It's very, very hated. But it's also, I find it very interesting because it's all of these things. And it also talks to me how, um, how Treyarch saw the zombies community because there is a lot, and I do mean a lot of, shield, uh, a lot of shit you can build in this map. So I think Treyarch was like, oh, they must love building shit. And I feel like they went too far. I think this is where the zombies community was like, okay, you went very far on this one. You fucked up. So, I, I find this map very interesting. I, I do not remember where Paka Punch, they were the room for Paka Punch is. You have to like collect souls next to some lanterns and some shit. I think it's this one. I don't remember where they are, I won't lie. Oh, I need to look for... yeah. So even Paka Punch, like, once you find it, it's not hard. I need to find, like, glowy jars. You need to look at everything in every room and find it. I think that's where Treyarch messed up. They thought people like sitting in a room and looking at everything. We don't. We actually don't like that at all. I would like to think I can trust the bots. Maybe the bots can find something, but I do not know. I hope they do. It will be helpful if they did. Yep, found Zeus. I need to find the news then. Like, news, and finally... Oh, hello. Yeah, welcome to the Nosferatus, one of the types of enemies you can get. You can also get werewolves. That's also what I like. I, I don't like them, like, how they're designed. Like, as enemies, I think they're annoying as fuck, but I do like fighting, like... I like the concept, but execution-wise, they suck, dude. They're very annoying. I know you can build the silver bullets on whatever the fuck, I don't like it or care. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's just too much to build in this map, dude. It's like Setsubo, but even more tedious. Or Transit. I think Transit is still worse because of the sheer map. I, I can at least run around this map. But they bar barely like it. No, no, I don't even like it, I'm sorry, like, I think this... I, 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 I'm gonna be honest, I don't. <laughs> like, I don't think it's awful, like, horrible, horrible, but, like, it's not very good. Did that do anything? It did! Give me, give me the pack. Thank you. So, now we need to head to the forest, or the graveyard, or somewhere along those lines. I don't know where the news could be in this stupid fucking map. <laughs> so My curse? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I'm not... I cannot give up. I don't know where to go. It's like, I'm... Don't know where this could be. Get... All of you get out of my way. So, that's the thing with this of the night. I feel like for you to play it and have fun, you need a guide. And right now, I don't feel like booting up YouTube need recording, you know? I don't think that's what you need to do for a zombies map. I don't think that's clever, I don't think that's interesting, I don't think that's anything, like, good. I don't think it's a good idea at all for me to depend on a guide. I think I'm going mental enough that I want to start checking the portrait, see if there is a news anywhere, or someone dying, or something. This is down? No. I doubt someone will be fucked up enough to just own a portrait of someone getting hanged. I think that's a bit too fucked up. Like, there are limits to how fucked up you can be, right? Oh, hello, Nosferatu. 
Down you go, Nosferatu. I feel like I don't enjoy this map as much as I could, mainly because I don't know it. I feel like this map is like a, if you know it, you'll probably love it. But that's part of the thing, I don't think I wanna know it. Like, I don't see any appeal in knowing it. Like, Origins, for example, it is, I struggle with Origins. But once I learned it, I found it very satisfying to play. This is like... Again, I don't see it. It's kind of like Voyage, but even worse. Because like here, I know I'm feeling complete. Voyage is like, okay, I missed a Kraken upgrade, whatever. This is like, I am feel like I'm missing like half the experience of the map. Like it's too heavy on explore every room and find every random spawn where this can be. And I don't want to learn all that. I just want to hop in and play zombies, dude. I like learning the maps, but this is too much. I know it's not an original complaint, far from it. This is too much, man. Like, it's not even overwhelmingly interesting, it's just boring. Also, I can't stop and look at everything in a room if I got bitches chasing me, you know what I mean? Like, I think they forgot the zombies chase you. And they were like, oh yeah, they'll stop and look at every single thing in a room. That makes sense. And that's what happens with some of the BO3 or BO4 maps. They forget you have zombies chasing you. Particularly with Easter eggs. Well, I, I even think Easter eggs is the wrong name. At this, at that point, it should be like mission quest, dude. Like I think even Bo4 calls them story quest. Yeah, dude, I give up. Fuck this man, <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I don't even leave. Oh, there you go. Fuck this. <laughs> Let's go to Ancient Evil. Gentlemen, Welcome to Ancient Evil. One of the most praised bo 4 maps. Uh, something that people usually consider like a hidden gem in BO4 because people are not a big fans of BO4. Um, I will say it's one of those maps that the first time I played it, it clicked. I, I will admit. But um, so the, the thing with BO, with Ancient Evil is it it kind of went back to like a more calm approach to all this BO4 nonsense. It was more laid back compared to other maps, but it still had like depth. I feel. Oh, hey, little guy. Long time no see. I haven't played this map in forever. Hello, little guy. How are you doing? Do you help Owl? Like, at least in this map, they make it clear what you have to do, as opposed to most BO4 maps. Obviously, you don't know how to find it, because it's BO4, but... Well, it's... Sorry, it's not BO4. It's Modern Zombies, because it's not exclusive to BO4. It's far not exclusive to BO4. Oh yeah, I just drink like beta version of Perkaholic instead of giving you all your perks and other six, it gives you like random four. So that's actually pretty funny. I need a weapon, any weapon, like literally. Oh, AN94. Too bad it's on my mule kick weapon. I'll take it. I clip it. BKM. Oh, it's this weapon. I don't like when light machine guns fire like this. I won't lie. I don't like that. I'm looking for the red crystal plant. Um, hmm. Okay, go, 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 Diego, go! Run, bitch! Learn how to run with a plant, dude. It's not that hard. Run. I don't think stamina will help me if I'm walking. Like, if I had stamina, theoretically speaking. They're coming! That's a problem! 
There you go. You have shown yes. Please do help. Okay, so this is honestly the fastest I've ever done this upgrade. I played this map like twice though. So I'm gonna keep this one because you see one I know how to do, but there are the other ones are really cool. Like this is basically like a stress test of what your gauntlet can do. And it's honestly pretty sick. Check this shit out. So that's if you hold it. And then I do this. And Luna also gets them. Yeah, so basically you have infinite ammo. Because it's like, a, like a, oh, you're proving yourself. It's like a test, right? So, you know, you can also test the weapon. Honestly, I like that. I like that you can test the weapon before, like, committing to keeping it or not. But sometimes I wonder when you build it and it's kind of whatever. And you're like, oh, that's a waste of time. But here it is not. It's a simple process. It's a simple build process. And the reward's pretty good. I think all the gauntlets are probably the best, like, uh, set of wonder weapons we ever gotten. Thing is, they do run out of ammo rather quickly. Too bad I don't have, like, cache back or whatever. But that's fine. It's quite long, though, I will say. That's kind of, like, the boring part. But it's pretty cool. Look at this shit. That's pretty nice. Because it's died. Oh, we're back. Fuck. Uh, there you go. Oh, stamina up right there. This is where you can get the Caron uh, gauntlet, which eventually I'll get it. I, I, I love the idea of getting the blood gauntlet. Is that the box? It is the box, okay, good. Oh, that's not good for my bullets. And there we go, pack a punch. Oh, that's a... I got Dying Wish, I'm fine. I didn't need Dying Wish, I'm sick. I had the gauntlet. And now we can go back to the main area, should I choose to. I won't choose to though. The box is here, like, I don't have any reason to go back. I need to find this thing. Where's the Pegasus shenanigan? Okay. Oh, a Spitfire. This is actually good. Um, okay, so I found the hammer on this side, the anvil on that side. I'm using the spear that you actually use for the specialist. Like the throw. Can it be on this side or is it at the beginning? Probably it's at the beginning, right? It's either at pack a punch or in the very beginning of this little area right here. Activate trap. Another little trap. This hand is so cool. Honestly, I, I can't even tell what weapons it I guess it resembles the wolf stuff. The wolf bow, sorry. But in the staffs, I don't know. Maybe the fire stuff? Maybe the lion stuff? I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch. I must admit. Yeah, it's a very original gauntlet compared to like lining, fire that we've seen before. Like this one's a lining and it's like, yeah, that's cool. Can I... I cannot. That makes sense. There you go. So this is the shield I thought you got on 9, but look at this. It's so cool. Obviously, it doesn't have a lot of ammo, but the damage is quite good. I love this shield. Yeah, so Ancient Evil, one of those maps that honestly, I will say it clicked like the first time I played it. I, I could see it. Even if I didn't know how to do everything, I could see it. I can see the potential. And it's actually a map I want to learn eventually. Down we go. Yeah, see, surviving this map is actually fun. Eventually, I'll learn to do all of this. I know where they are. I Like, I know where you start the process, but each one has a different setup. I don't think any of them are complicated, as far as I know. The Gaia one's definitely the easiest one. It's like, you can do it so quickly. Like, you saw you saw how early I, I had, like, the, be the best wonder weapon in the game in, like, round five. I don't know if it's the best gauntlet itself. But it's one of the better choices I can have in this map. I had the best weapon in like round 5. I, I did use extra credit, I know, but like... 
How helpful was that, really? Like, I used, I used it to open a door. You can see how um, they, they, per cup and per caholic, you know, the, the, the elixirs that give you more perks, they were never designed to be in this game. Because look at the main four perks I have, like Danura, the things I've been using this whole video. And then look at my extra perks. They are there like they used to be in like the older games. So to me, this says they never planned for those, those elixirs to exist. They just wanted a way for people to have more perks. The entire point of the perk system in BO4 is you can only have four. That's why they have their little slings and they tell you which perk you can only get. But with this, you can tell it was not planned. Look at this. This looks ugly. They were like, oh, let's go back to the old system. But it clearly was not planned. They, 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 this is like... These elixirs were made due to backlash, basically. The sad thing is you can't ride Pegasus because, you know, he got stabbed. Um, so you have to use the portals. But that, that's the thing. Like, Gorod, you still have to use the dragon unless you get the dragon wings, which is what I did in the video. But, uh, yeah. There are possibilities here, that's for sure. See, I feel like this is like... To me, this map is like mob. Because mob, it's not super simple. But it's not super complicated either. I think that's why I like it so much, because it reminds me of a lot of Mob of the Dead. Mob is like the simplest, most complicated map, you know what I mean? Like, on the scale of uh, complicated maps, it's definitely the easiest one. And Ancient Evil, I feel like it's the same thing. It's the maps that... The complicated map, the complicated map era we got into. But it's simple enough that it gives you, like, a satisfying reward for doing all the troubles those maps take you around like it's satisfying enough it's a good reward it's simple enough to replicate and learn it has a lot of replay value i think that's they, they hit the, the the sweet spot like origins i feel like people don't give it enough shit because it's so rewarding to do all the shit like making the stuffs takes fucking forever but you get the stuffs the stuffs are amazing so it's rewarding you want to do it again and again and again, because it's rewarding, it makes sense to do it. Something like, um, the Masamune. It is rewarding, but you can get the same from, like, a double-popped gun. Then, uh, stuff like, let's say, Voyage, getting all the, like, the Kraken upgrades, it's not super difficult. But the Kraken ain't that great, then, Dead of the Night, doing all this shit, yeah, the Alistar's fully, like, super upgrade, it's pretty good. But it's so annoying to do, man. It's so annoying that at that point it's not worth it. At that point you're not playing zombies anymore, you're just playing a fetch quest mission game, dude. It's all survival at that point. Like, you get so tired out by doing all of that, it's like, okay, I don't want to play anymore. Like, that's the thing, I feel like the reward should be simple enough to get so you want to use it. But it's not the end point. Like, oh, I got the SR fully, what do I do now? No, I'm tired of playing this map, I'll, I'll leave. At that point you lose this whole... Point. <laughs> the one thing I don't like about the shield is that the spear has to come back to you. So even though it has an like area of damage, you do have to be accurate about it. Oh, I just have one more bleed out. Okay. I forgot I had three. I thought it was just two. I didn't even look at the little number down there. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well, oh, holy shit, I got one shot. Like, yeah, there were four zombies stabbing me. Like, I got one shot, dude. Holy shit. Well, that was Ancient Evil and the end of the Chaos map. So now we jump back to Aether. Once more. Welcome to Alpha Omega. We A remake the of Nuketown for some reason. So... Earlier, earlier in the video, I talked about how I love Nooktown, right? Like, I love Nooktown Zombies, Nooktown Multiplayer, I love Nooktown. I'm a Nooktown guy. So, the thing with Nooktown is, I love Nooktown because it's so simple. This map is not super complicated, but it's not simple either. It's like a mix of both. But I think it's a bit too complicated. Like, look at all this shit. So... 
it's not the most complicated map in the world, far from it, but it doesn't feel like I'm playing in Nuketown. It feels like a completely different beast, because it's honestly one of the most changed up maps in the ter in terms of like remaking maps. Like, to me, this doesn't feel like Nuketown at all. On the one hand, that's cool, it feels like a fresh map, but on the other hand, I can see the bones of Nuketown. I can see that this is Nuketown, but that's our, another neighborhood. I do not like that, like, I don't know... Once I unlock Pug Punch, I just want it to stay, dude. I don't want it, like, moving all over the place. I don't want it, like... The, the one time I like Pug Punch moving around Skull of the Dead, because you have a big-ass lighthouse showing you where it is. And it's there from the start, you don't have to do anything to unlock it, you just turn on the power. That's the only time I like it. The other times it's just blatantly annoying. I fucked up. Honestly, I really like this song here. I don't know why there's this hard bop all of a sudden in Nuketown. I really like it. But I don't know... Why? <laughs> like, what's the context of this? I guess to give you a bop while you survive? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, so this I'm gonna have to do it eventually again. Uh, eventually, Pack a Punch is gonna break down. And I'm gonna have to do this again. Also, yeah, I don't think I didn't notice the AI just stopping there while I was doing this for some reason. Fuck. That's not it. What the Oh, give it my. Do I even want to unlock Pack a Punch yet? I don't have a weapon to Pack a Punch. This, uh, get me the fuck out of this house! Now we have some Ooh, room. Barely. <laughs> He's still not online. Am I checking the wrong house? I thought he was here. Oh, this is the right house. This is where the Mark II is. The Rushmore just doesn't work yet for some reason. Do I need to trigger something for him to wake up? I thought it was just the power switch. Am I crazy? Do I not know Alpha Omega? The power is on. Is there a power switch down below? I thought I was doing all of this for pack, not for like Rushmore. If I can't get Rushmore working, I can't get the upgraded Mark II. That's why I'm so worried about this. And if I can't get the Mark II, then why the fuck am I playing this map? <laughs> yeah, something something is messed up here. Yeah, pack is open. We had underground bunk. Hey, I feel so dumb. I feel like I don't know the map. And to be fair, I kind of don't. But at the same time, I kind of do. Oh, there you go! What the fuck? I didn't know that. What the fuck? I'm surprised you had to wait a whole round for him to, like, wake up. That's a really weird choice, Treyarch. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't think that was it, Chief. I don't know. It's bizarre. I thought the, gli I thought the game was glitched out. It has to be like a TV somewhere that I'm not seeing. I did this one. This one was the 7. So that means... You get to the top... For the diner. Well, is it the diner? Or is it... Lounge? Fuck! <laughs> that just sent me back. That was not very useful. TV is clearly not here, so it has to be here. 
Planer has the perk. Yeah, curious. Two seven. Seven, and let's see what other number we got here. I, I, I really like the Mark II upgrades. I know people don't like it because it's like, oh, it's a Mark II. Like, you're literally using the gun you've been using since PO2. I get that. But the upgrades themselves are actually pretty cool. Like, one of them is a dual wheel Mark II. The other one's like a bomb. The other one's like a laser beam. It, they're, they're pretty cool upgrades. Too bad that they didn't make a new model for the weapon itself. Yeah, this is definitely where you can tell there are budget cuts. Like, I don't know. I assume Alpha Omega was planned from the get-go. 7-3, okay. 7-3, 7-3, 7-3. I assume Alpha Omega was planned from the very beginning, right? Like, I doubt they just changed course due to budget. But the problem is, people were not a big fan of this. It all felt like recycled content for DLC 3. This is the second to last DLC of the game. And the game wasn't hitting any uh, home records to forgive this, so I think that's why people weren't very happy. Like, the map itself is whatever, to be completely honest. The map itself is fucking whatever. So yeah, I can understand why people were not happy. 733. 733. Yeah, I don't know if Alpha Omega, I don't know if he was planned from the get-go, or if this was a budget cut moment. But you can tell there are budget cuts in the AI, the weapons, the, the easter egg itself is all like input codes, it's nothing crazy. The cutscenes, which I've been skipping, they start to be animated like, you know, 2D, kind of like why um, LBO2 had like die rise and buried cutscenes. They use that style and some of the art is rather ugly. But the, the game had CGI cutscenes all the way before this and we just saw the detail of Ancient, Ancient Evil. So yeah, Ancient Evil definitely had like the last super budget. This map and the next one is kind of like, maybe they didn't have this much budget. Seven, seven, three, three, three. Holy shit, that code! I could have guessed that code. I need to take. Oh, I need to drop my mark too. That's so dumb. Wait, really? I really need to drop the mark too. Come on, I already have a mark too. Oh, I can't use it. Okay, never mind. Uh, fuck you. If I'm not mistaken, I need to get down. I think I need to get down first and find a canister with electricity and shoot it with kilowatts. I think that's how this works. I think I need to shoot it with kilowatts and then it's gonna show up basically. So now I need to get to the top, I think, and start shooting the the poles. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think I remember this upgrade. See, yeah, I see yellow, I see yellow electricity over there. I, I saw, I saw it. I think it's on this side. Yeah, this will not be very good to do with mid zombie round. Well, not even mid, it just started. <laughs> so yeah, this is not a good idea. I need to save ammo. I don't remember if this is like the last step or do I have to stand on this circle more times? I honestly cannot remember. Yeah, time to stand here for a little bit. 
I'm gonna get this ready. <laughs> oh, maybe this might be easier then. Why did you make that noise? Oh, back bunch dead. Well, that's a problem. Oh, I need to find how to build the fucking... Yeah. I forgot about that. I need to actually build a table for me to upgrade it. And I'm missing a part, and I don't know where it is. Yeah, this sucks, dude. I, I hate when I have to build so many things for, like... I, I don't like buildable. Like... Hmm. I... I don't know, I'm conflicted because some maps do it really well. Like, I feel like Origins does it very well. Is it You build the stuff once and that's it. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I don't have- I don't want to build the table for me to build it, you know? I, I don't- that's what I don't like. When I have to build it to upgrade it. Build a wonder weapon? Okay, I get it. But build the upgrade? That's nice of you, Rushmore. Go fuck yourself. I need to find an extra canister somewhere. Who knows where the fuck that might be? Yeah, I might die just looking for this. I'm just running to corner to see if I find anything. I don't know if I will. Teleport is not available. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it is like a uh, yep, this sure could be a problem, and it most definitely is becoming a problem. I won't lie. Did I get a tank here? Maybe this is the one I'm missing. I've just been pressing F. You know what? They're testing my patience, Alpha Omega. Like, this is something I didn't notice before, but zombies do spawn in front of you in this map. I don't know if that means... On well, this game, not this map necessarily. I hadn't noticed that before, but I don't think they do in the previous games, do they? Like, they don't spawn in front of you. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a problem. Well, we tried. And on to the final map. The final Ether storyline whatever map thingy. Tag their Toadfin. And it's funny because I tried playing Call of the Dead in this video earlier on. And now we get to actually play Call of the Dead. Kind of. Sort of. I mean, yes and no. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do get back into Call of the Dead now. The last Ether map. You might imagine people were not very happy that it was tagged. People were happy that Tagler told them that Call of the Dead was getting remade. But the way it ended, this one definitely screams budget cuts and yeah, we did not choose this. This one definitely does and I'll show you why. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Welcome to Tagder Toten. 
Uh, yeah, so we're starting a new area already, if you couldn't tell. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the final ether map. I will say it's very pretty that once you remove the fog, Call of the Dead and all its similarities, all, all its adjacent, they're very pretty. Like, I think Call of the Dead is already pretty, but this makes it even prettier. I figured out what happened with BO1, by the way. I think I edited it into the, that part, but yeah, I need the multiplayer maps for some reason. You'll be surprised. Like, I thought you'll need the multiplayer maps downloaded for the earlier maps, not the DLC. But whatever, that's interesting. Marathon, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I need to take this. I know somewhere. I, I know where to go. Like, I remember that. I don't remember the rest of this. <laughs> yes, easter egg shenanigans that we will not be doing. We are not cooking the easter egg. Eight. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello, Winter's Whale. Mother always wanted me to be a surgeon. You, we, we don't say the word surgeon in modern, uh, in 2023, Marlton, just in case. I don't want to trigger certain PTSD on some people. Thank you, Marlton. So... Why are there elemental zombies in this one? Were they like, oh, this is the last map, we have to throw everything we got? On you go, crank wheel. It is a long oh, hello, you and Salvo, let's go. Sound and fury. Yeah, so the interesting thing about this map is this is the only map where you technically don't have to pack a punch five times because they added the golden pack a punch. I'm surprised they didn't add it to the rest of the maps, but I guess it's thematical here. For some reason, I don't know. That's a bit of a weird choice. I would have patched it into all the other maps. But whatever. <laughs> so, there's a place called Golden Pack-a-Punch you can get to. And pretty much, you can you pack a bunch once and it works like usual. You just pack a bunch once, you get the best gun, the, the best version of your gun. Just like in the old days. That they decided to change for some reason. Okay, please do. Thank you. Seaplane is not in position to use, really, what the fuck? Oh, there's another one, yeah, I forgot. Seaplane handle, shit. Can I even go anywhere with the seaplanes? Oh, this is a problem in a wrong, very, very small area with helium salvo. I guess I could just not fire the helium. Oh, fuck. Yeah, maybe I need to fire the helium salvo. God bless the helium. Oh my god, you're not dead. I checked. I feel like I haven't checked. Well, like I feel like they are on the ship. Like, I feel like they have to be close to the respective thing they're asking me to use. Problem is, you're asking me to check a ship while zombies are pouring in. And I know this is not the map, the first map to ever do it. Of course not. But these zombies are way more aggressive than they used to be. That's for sure. Can I just rip this off? <laughs> Oh, hello, Pack. The fuck? Was that the golden pack a bunch? Does it mean I need to launch it to somewhere? Somewhere, some way? I don't know, man. I don't want to be hogging walls anymore. I'm. This video is very much too long for me to be hanging walls around. Oh, 
that's the snowball. That that's the thing. There are snowballs everywhere too, and it's like, man, I don't. You, you're fucking up. <laughs> I'm running into every wall trying to find your shit, and you put more shit. It's not very nice of you. Oh well, I probably could have avoided that. I'm not in the most focused state right now. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. A few more clips of ammo. That's what they call them, right? Clips. Oh, you... mm. fuck! Fucking damn it, dude! Yeah, I don't know. Ne next time I play these maps, I'm gonna Google where all this shit is. I promise I'll learn these maps a bit better. Like Call of the Dead was not this annoying, man. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't hurt that much. I thought it would hurt more. That kind of hurt. <laughs> that one did hurt a little bit more. Where could this be at this point? Like, I don't know where this could be. I'm gonna be real. Like, it's... I don't even know what I'm looking for. I hate when zombies maps do this. Like, oh, search for this really tiny thing. Like, fuck off. At least keep it consistent, you know? Well, that was Dr. Toten. Sadly, not the best ending, but we've seen worse things in this uh, this little series of ours, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll play it. Whenever I get to work on the tier list, I'll record these maps better. Like, I'll Google where the things are, get a better perspective on them. Play the wrist, actually get the wrist footage, you know, important thing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this really, really long video I have to edit now. <laughs> thank you so much, take care, stay safe, and if you get a chance, go play Zombies. This franchise is very, very good. I know I didn't play all of them. If they ever come to Game Pass, I might. If not, I... To me, the, the Zombie series ended here. Uh, as different as BO4 and BO3 and everything has gone, Cold War is way too different for me to consider it like the same series. Not even like a, oh, you ruined it, but it's just... I don't see it the same way. But yeah, see you, take care. This is gonna take a while to come out. <laughs> Bye.